Okay, I think we start off with the daily puzzle like always. Mm. I was dreaming about you, Zero. I love it. Uh, thank you so much. That doesn't make me uncomfortable at all. Are you? No, that's not true. That's not. Are you? Are you joking? Are you serious? But I appreciate it. I guess I don't need to thank you or anything. I don't just need to show my appreciation to you because it's your uh, subconscious. Okay, this is a Tuesday puzzle. Uh, is this just checkmate? I think that's just checkmate. Wait, you can go there. Um, let me see. Bum, bum. Because if I go anywhere, you just block with this. So maybe I go here. And it just goes there, though. Um, wait, what's the mechanic here to stop you from check, uh, stopping the check? Oh, I can go here, right? And then this is made. Oh, yeah, I can go here, right? Oh, wait, what? What? Because then I, then I just capture with bishop and then you can... Oh, wait, we're down so much in material, we can't do that. How am I fucking up a Tuesday puzzle? Ali Reza opens his birthday gift. <laughs> what? Is that throwing shade at Ali Reza for being a daddy's child? Uh, where do I go? Do we have to take this pawn first? There, there. Oh, then I can take this bishop. Oh, no, that, yeah, it's a windmill. No, it's not. What am I missing? You can't capture the checker. Oh, you can't go there. Oh, yeah, that sucks. You could, don't do that, I think. Um, why am I struggling with this, dude? Um, check. That doesn't work. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, there's a, there's a rook here. I wasn't even looking. Can I go here? That's mate. I didn't... Uh, that's weird. Oh, wait, it's not? It's incorrect? What am I What am I doing, dude? Why am I... I haven't played chess ever before. This is a new game to me. You can block it, of course. So I take first, and then I... That's a really hard Tuesday puzzle, man. How is it so hard for a Tuesday puzzle? Okay, I wasn't really... I wasn't really at my best there. So if you go there, then you just block with the pawn. You take here, you just block with the bishop. Check. Queen takes, and they can sacrifice the queen because we're still down a piece. Yeah. And here, uh, this is the only way to win. They have to take. We have to first take here. And there's no moves you have to take with that's forced. And then we go here. And then there's no blocking it. Okay. Oh wait, this is against this is against Nali, Naraditsky. Oh no, I fucked up Naraditsky. That's so cool. When did this happen? Can I see when it happened? A couple of months ago. Oh no, Firuza versus Naraditsky. Oh my sensei got blasted. Ah, okay, that's that done. Not with uh, flying colors, but more like you know. Brown colors. Okay, that's not funny. And what did we do? Actually, yesterday I did do some endgame stunning afterward. I also did some... I played a tiny bit of Blitz and then I learned some openings. I was studying a bit of Fr the French defense. Um, I think it might be good to just go back to... Let's just maybe play... No. I think I'll do some opening studying again uh, to start off the stream. That's not the, not the most interesting thing to be doing. But let's look at the Jobaba. Mm. Or maybe, no, no, no. I can actually look at the Accelerated Dragon. I think I have an analysis board with Accelerated Dragon Theory. Accelerated. What? Maybe here? Oh, there's one. But is that, is that the super deep one? Oh, okay, it has to, yeah. I don't know where this even came from, these notes. Maybe from a Naroditsky video? Okay. Uh, so let's look at, let's look at different lines. So here. What? This is, this is completely different lines, what? 
Oh, maybe it's... Oh, yeah, it's to prepare... No, why, why would I... Why would there be Alap in here? That's okay. I'll go for this. Oh, wait, no, because it's, it's white to move. Of course, we're, we're black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, like, is my whole entire... Uh, you know, file. With all the... All the openings. All the... All the white responses to the Sicilian. Mm. So these are actually kind of important. There's a couple of moves here. H3 is... A mistake. So we take. And then we take and the pawns are fucky. And the pawn falls. Wait, don't do that. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is that there? Yeah, you take here and then the pawn falls, right? And then we're just better. Like almost winning. This is gonna fall as well. With bishop d3. Why is that best? We're just up two pawns. Oh, because we're threatening this. Oh my god, that's so bad. Yeah, yeah. I think I played like a game very similar to this. You know, it has the same that's the same same idea with the knight coming in and then forking these two squares. That was like a couple of days ago. Okay. Group defense is best move. Um because I bring we bring out the queen. There's a party happening. I hope you can hear that too well. Well, that's okay. <laughs> um, are they playing like Samba or something? That's weird. Yeah, Samba is weird, man. Okay, yeah, so here we can we just... Oh wait, there's, the, the, the file just ends here. Explore. Stakes D, 3 shift. Okay, yeah. So let's go back. And if they do play the Alapin, it's really n are there other moves here? No, there's really not other moves here. So let's go back and let's look at here. Yeah, D4 is a thing. Oh, that's the Smith Mora. I think we take and they go here, and then I think I. Might just go here. It's the most principled. Neither three, another six. Yeah, because I don't really want to take. I don't really want to dive into the, the Smith Mora head first. Seems like a bad idea. And here there's what other moves? C4. Oh, that's the that's the freaking Marozzi thing. Oh no! Don't go there. What the hell? G6. G6, knight C3. Uh, oh, knight C6 first, yeah. Okay, I mean, that's really rare. I don't really see that often. We better just look at the actual dragon. So here there are... If this, that's okay. Oh, C4. Yeah, this is the most challenging response. I guess I should look at this theory. Oh, the queen goes there in that line, really? I mean, this is not the move. There's a bunch of moves here, but this is what I... I think this might be one of the, the courses on um, Chessable. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at the game. I'm gonna look at the game soon. Sorry, used. If you go there, we just drop back. Interesting. I would love to have some idea, uh, some notes here. Okay, that's okay. Let's go. This happens. In D4, we just go there and they push the pawn. We can jump in there. And if he goes there, do we go F6? No, we go back with the knight. F6 works too, but to go back with the knight. They take, king takes, yeah. Be ready to play queen B6 to eliminate white's dynamic potential. Oh yeah, threaten the queen trade. Okay, yeah. And here, just D5. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, because this... Oh, yeah, it's a discovery. Okay, okay, wow, that's really scary. And they're just losing. Because this this uh, threat then is the rook here, because they're on the same same file. Interesting, okay. That hasn't really often happened to me, with the queen coming in like that. Um, That is a move. So here there's... 
Might take right now and we just take with the beef pawn like always. And here. Because well, we're attacking the e5 pawn. If they take, e5 pawn is hanging. Mm, what would I play here? Maybe e6, stop the pawn. Okay, no, d6. Oh yeah, because that also stops the pawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you prevent the pawn. And we have nice active bishops. It's pretty nice, it's pretty nice. Okay. Mm, so let's go back. This is kind of a bad way to study openings because it's just the moves. I could just kind of have to guess. Okay, so this is the main line. They go back in the main line. We go rookie one. They don't go back here. It's castles. Do we go? No, d5 doesn't work. Oh, yeah, there we can do the central fork trick. And then we just equalize. d5. Knight takes. B takes. Thank you for the follow. Wow. Hello, we're looking at uh, Dragon Theory. Accelerated Dragon. Who is that? Mr. Wonka Bonk 726. <laughs> That's a good name. I've been complimenting people's names today, but you definitely take the cake. Mr. Wonka Bonka. <laughs> Are you affiliated with the uh, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory fiasco a couple of months ago? Or maybe not, because if Wonka Bonka was present, that would have probably not been a fiasco. That would have been amazing. Can I play a game with you? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Wonka Bonka. Uh, I guess you can. I, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna look at some opening theory here quickly, and then I have to look at Yust's game. He sent me a game that he wants. He wants me to see. But yeah, it won't be long, like ten minutes max. So yeah, we can play a game. Uh, I'm gonna play. I only really play 15-10 time control, or slower. But yeah, Lele. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. No, you're the goat. You're the bestest boy. You're the bestest boy in all the lands. And here there's... What if bishop takes there? Just take with the rook. And then takes... Oh, why h6? Interesting. The engine recommends bishop takes d4, but the engine doesn't really know what happens in the opening. So I would love to have some notes <laughs> on this move. I guess I'll keep this in mind. It drops the, it stops this from happening with tempo. And so, well, so the knight is kind of flimsy here. But the engine is just screaming to play this. And d5. And g5 with tempo. Okay, yeah, let's, let's, uh, I need to find a better research for learning this. Oh, you're making me cry, thank you. <laughs> Don't cry, dude. Who's chopping onions? Nobody, but I'm gonna be chopping garlic soon. Look at garlic, guys. This is my pet, pet garlic. His name is Darlic. And he's kind of dry again, but I think he's okay. He looks like he's shedding his skin. He's like my little snake boy. But he's getting a lot of sunlight nowadays, because it's freaking summer in Finland. Okay, yeah, this line... Ah, uh, F3 now. And then we can go D5. Castles, D6. Ooh, if they castle, we go D6. If they don't castle, we blast up in the center. Uh, here, threatening knight G4. Hmm. And after white defense against it, we will play knight A5. This looks really goofy. Um, whoa, wait, wait, what's happening? Okay, so h6, knight a5? Yeah, I remember this faintly. f4. Interesting, there's, okay, there's some theory here, definitely. Major name is, uh, I have sent you a friend request, please accept it, yes. Yesterday you did the leg day. Your pet is a little goat. <laughs> no, because you're the goat and this is your, your pet. So it is it's a little goat. Yes, thank you for the explanation. Uh, yes, the goat. Yeah, he's, he's the goat, but he will consume. He will be consumed soon. Because garlics, I don't think they want to be grown forever. I mean, it would be cool if I met like a football-sized uh, garlic. But I think I have to eat him soon. Oh yeah, but this, yeah, this attacks the weak pawn. Oh, that's nice. 
Um, but yeah, no, I didn't go. I didn't do a leg day. It got really late, and I, I kind of felt like I had to take a rest day. But today is gonna be a leg day, so three hours m maximum is gonna be the duration of the stream from this point onwards. Because I have to go to the gym, and if you don't have a healthy body, like if you don't have massive ass and legs, you will never be able to be a master on the chessboard. Uh, so if they go queen d2, but I mean, what if they just go here? This makes... But then I jump in there, right? Oh, wait, no, you're... All right, let's see, let's see. So if bishop here, then bishop d7. Yeah, I would just play this. And then if they take, the queen develops for free. Thank you. And there's still, still a lot of pressure on the white position, I think. Queen e2 is recommend Explore. There's still... There's one game here. Between a Grandmaster and Olaf Bartoszev. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for calling me out on not going to the gym. Oh, today I see you so full of energy, huh? Am I? Am I? Is that sarcastic? Okay, yes, I am. Yes, I am epic. I don't know why I made a sound with that. I could have just like slapped my... But I wanted to... Okay. What are your plans for the future? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I will try to meet uh, a beautiful Finnish lady, woman. And we will... Um, I will ask her out. And we'll probably go to, we'll have a fun date, maybe at a restaurant, maybe see a film. Films are bad. Maybe I'll just take a walk. Walk with her, we'll, we'll chat about something, we'll learn about each other. We'll think about committing to a relationship. Once that has been done, I will also, uh, on the side, I will be, you know, developing my career. Uh, maybe some years go by, maybe we get engaged. I... I'm trying to learn chess at the moment, so maybe I should focus on that instead of coming up with stories. Bro, your plan for the future is becoming Grandmaster in Japan with 45 babies. <laughs> Grandmaster, you, you, you had me still at the part with Grandmaster, but then why am I making 45? I mean, I am fertile. That's, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, but 45 is a lot. Don't ask her if comfortable. What do you do for a living? Oh. Uh, thank you for the preface or thank you for the you know warning that yeah i i'm just uh i'm just a student right now i'm studying computer science in university so that's what i'm doing um, I, I'm a, I don't really have plans for future honestly i'm gonna just try to get my uh just try to get, graduate get my papers uh, try to you know not get overrun by by ai i don't know i've been kind of having a second i mean this is gonna become a deep conversation now what is this move Uh, I mean, I don't like this move, but um, the AI thing is hitting hard for computer science people because like 80% of, comp at least, probably like 90% of computer science jobs are just web development and that's going to become trivial for companies once, once AI develops a bit because... Uh, because you can just tell that GPT to please write me a website and then they write your website. Uh, so do my sister. Oh, uh, computer science? That's cool. Yeah, there's a lot of... There's not many ladies in computer science. I mean, it's, recently it's been changing a bit. Like our freshman year was like not full of ladies. There was like 15% ladies. But it was surprisingly much. And it's been... The numbers are going up. So it's, I guess, kind of cool that ladies are getting interested in computer science but it's definitely a very male dominant career you live in india where are you from i'm finnish you can, uh, you can see <laughs> most of these answers are you can just scroll down and go to about me i think there's info there yeah but i mean i don't mind you asking it's it's okay i'm not, it's not like annoying it's you know feels dead air uh but yeah i'm finnish from finland um i guess statistically if i had to guess i would have guessed that you're from india maybe the time zones aren't super Convenient, but I mean, yeah, if there's a person who plays chess, they're probably from India. Like in 2024. Uh, so what's the idea of this? F4? Can you go there and... Oh yeah, because F4 weakens the E4 pawn. But if you go there, then if white plays slow preparatory moves, you may continue with the queenside counterplay. However, if white starts some immediate offensive, we should change gears and take action against that. Who are you? Why are you telling me this? What does that even mean? That's not that's not very complete. Okay, as a rule of thumb, whenever white puts the rook on d1, we should pay extra care to the 
IGS connected with E5. Uh -huh. Because then this opens up and the F F F7 square becomes really weak. Oh yeah, because then the knight can't really move here. Okay, that's useful. Okay, and here's a rule of thumb again. Wait, what is this line? Rule of thumb, whenever white defends the d5 pawn, we play e6 to open the center. Okay. Interesting. Okay, that's probably enough opening study. Let's look at the game from Bobby Rocket, also known as uh, Used Better. That's the wrong copy. I copied the name of the stream. What? Control C? I know how computers work. Mm. What other games do you play other than chess? Uh, a ton of different games, actually. Okay, I got your request. No, let's not play 10 minutes. Let's play 15 plus 10. But yeah, I play, I mean, mostly chess right now, but Bellaccio is what we played a couple hours today. And then I, I don't know, Long the Long Dark has been interesting to me. I played Multiverses when it came out. I play a lot of indie games. I think Rain World is the next indie game I'm going to play. Um, but... I don't really... Okay, what the hell is this opening? Yeah, it's already really passive. Blasting through the, op uh, the, the center, is that okay? Hmm. Next the knight is knight here. Uh, knight, knight, the knight is knight here. Knight's here. Because you definitely don't want to trade the queens. But, yeah, I don't really know. This might be a bit too soon. I think I might want to just develop the bishop here and just, you know, um, I guess load or charge the attack before I release it. Because opening the center right now is, I don't know. Oh, if it goes there, then it's okay. Wow. And is there a... What the fuck is this? <laughs> what? What? Is he scared of this? What? Because now this is just... This is just... Is this... No, it doesn't work. Okay, I mean, we can just calculate it. Oh, yeah, because that's defended twice. Okay, yeah. But this is freaking crazy. I mean, you could even go here and try to... I mean, maybe it doesn't quite work. Yeah, well, the engine likes that too. Bishop C2 and uh, Queen D3 idea. Uh... Yeah. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? <laughs> how to develop. This is, not, this is not how you develop your pieces. This is how you develop a cancer tumor festering inside your position. Um, okay, what does the game want you to do? Um, I mean, does it just want you to go... Yeah, just go crazy with h4. Yeah, h4. Just break the position. Uh, what do they even do? What's their best move? Dt, I mean d there, I guess block the diagonal. Um, rook takes, yeah, try to defend. H5, bishop takes, yeah, H5. And you can just, wait, you can't, don't sacrifice. Because this doesn't really work. Somehow, oh wait, that thanks, yeah. Somehow black survives that, so you can't quite sacrifice yet. But you can just keep, oh yeah, wow, that's so strong. So we take. We can take there. Wow, that's crazy. Because if you take. Because now the knight is hanging. Best move is this. Oh, we just take it with the. Okay, wow, this is crushing. What the hell? Now, anyway, sorry if I didn't enter in live before, but Twitch didn't notify me, and I was playing chess, so I didn't care. And now I, Wait, so did, did Twitch not notify you, or were you playing chess and didn't care? <laughs> God, I'm sorry, the live is strange, and so here we are. Okay, yeah. Wow, thank you so much. You're worried for me. Yeah, how many days would it take for you to just give up? Or, like, not give up, but, like, be worried for me? If I just stopped streaming, would you be like, oh, no, he's died? Uh, okay, let's see what you did. Yulon Castle. I mean, that makes sense too, but... Um, 
I guess that makes some sense as well, but it's just like, are you winning material here? Are you trying to win the Brigging Rook? It's not, doesn't really exactly make super sense. But yeah, he's getting counter play on that side. Because your king is actually, might be more in more danger on the king side than the center. You don't need to care about that. Just ignore that. It, yeah, that that's a move but wait, what would you take here there's no reason because if he takes you just get your knight in and if you can sacrifice all the central pawns you're just gonna go for a kingside attack you can open the files okay then he goes there um what is that lose oh yeah it's a discovered attack yeah and you destroy the pawn, pawn, pawn structure yeah you found it nice you take Oh, 95, okay, that's the best one. And it's just completely crushing. Yeah, there's just nothing black can do. You're up two pawns and the king king has no protection. Yeah. But I think you should you should um, be a bit more determined when you play. Like here, this doesn't really have any point, this move. And but well, I didn't understand what you said for me, actually. I was too concentrated on your game and not what in what you said. That's okay. I didn't really say anything important. I was just I was just yapping. That's my thing. No, don't worry. Also, don't, you know, apologize for not showing up to the stream. But yeah, this is just why would you I guess the engine does like it. But why not just I mean, what does this actually threaten? I guess it if you go here, they can take. Then maybe Oh yeah, you don't even take. You go Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, actually. Because the engine was saying H4 at some point. But I guess taking this thing out of this is just the best. And I guess opening the center when you have so much more development and are like crippling their pieces makes makes sense too. You know, you have the development. Yeah, okay, opening the center. Were you thinking about opening the center? Maybe you were, yeah. Yeah, sure. This just loses. So H4 and you keep attacking and yeah, you're dominating on the in the center and on the, on the king side and he doesn't really have any counterplay. He can't like swing around here. Well, I just had the funniest game ever. Is it not this? But this was really funny, this guy. I mean, he does try to create some counterplay. It's not like completely losing. But then he just falls for this tactic and then it's losing. So actually, it would could have been more, way more... Destruct. Okay, he just gave up here. Yeah. Do I need to look at your game as well? But yeah, is um, Wonka Bonka still here? Okay, let's look at this game too, I guess. But yeah, Wonka Bonka, are you here? Because uh, we can play the game now. What? Oh, he just... Oh, he just blunders the pawn. What the hell is this opening? What is this? Sicilian? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sicilian intellectually... Uh, intellectually restricted variation. Or dragon. I guess, yeah, it's the Sicilian stupid dragon. Um, how do you say that politically correctly? Oh my god, wow. And what happens? Yeah, you're just crushing. What the hell happened here? He goes there. It's already, already like winning. And here he doesn't realize... I guess now it, there's nothing here. Wow. Yeah, because I was going to play this. And centralize the knight as well. And you can actually win the bishop here. Just think that you didn't see that. But I mean, castles is, is fine as well. Wait, 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 wait. What are these moves? I would just go... Yeah, just open the center. There's no reason to go d3. You can go d5 or e5. I mean, d4 or e5. Yeah, you, I don't like the way you attack. Like, when you're in a totally, completely crushing position, don't play e th e4, e e e d3. Just go here, because even if you sacrifice the pawn, it's completely fine. e3 is just slow. It's like, putting the bishop here doesn't even do anything. 
Because you could put the bishop here. But then they just cover it. Oh, you're playing black. What? Oh my god, what the fuck? Why are you giving me this game? What the fuck is this? Is this is this your alien gambit? You're gambiting your king? What the fuck? Why are you giving me this? I don't want to see this. This is not funny. This is sad. And then he hangs the queen. I, oh, you don't take it? Oh wait, no, 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 no. It doesn't hang the queen, of course. You take. The, you, he hangs the. He hangs the horse. Why do you think? Okay, no, no, no. It's fine, yeah. And now you're winning again. You went for something that made sense. And you give his pawns crazy leverage. And you open the files for him. Okay. Oh my god, what the fuck's happening? Rook there. Yeah, that's the only move. Nice. Now there's actually some tactics. You could have... Do you have nabbed this pawn? No, because this bishop... I mean, this knight hangs. Um... Let me see. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't hang. You can take. That's an interesting move, because if they take, you take here with check, and it's winning. Um, you go there. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? You're gonna go here? Maybe just put their king here. I know that loses. Oh, because that's a discovered attack. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah. They don't even take this. I guess they don't. Yeah. Okay, and now we're just. It's a crushing attack. Queen d2. Oh, and then you just blunder again. Why, why am I looking at this? You won somehow. That doesn't matter. This is pure detritus. Why would you go for this? What do you mean you won? You just traded everything? Okay, so how does he win here? Mm, what's the plan? I mean, you just probably push these pawns, right? And then the black king is going to be occupied, preoccupied there and you can grab the white pawns, right? Yeah, h5, h6 even. And then you can go, yeah, g5. And then you, then you bring the king in and consume the pawns. Okay, yeah, it's totally winning. How did he fuck this up? Wait, this is what you played? You played this. Okay. Oh, oh, because it's trousers. Wait. Where do you have to go here? Oh, that's really tricky. Maybe you don't move the king at all. Wait, what, where do you go? It's trousers, yeah, because the king, the, the king can't stop both of these pawns. King d3 is only move. I mean, that's where I would have gone. Yeah, why would you go there? D3. Yeah, this can't take. You gotta go here. Then you can just capture it. Uh, yeah, the, the, it doesn't make even time. Because, yeah, this is not possible. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you go here, then the pawns are on the same file. And this is unstoppable. Yeah, and then you just nab the pawns. Oh, wait, no, what? Yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah, it's... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, because he went there. Yeah, yeah, he went there. Okay, so it's... It's trousers and you can't stop them. But wait. Why did they resign here? Is it not trivial how to... Is it trivial? I guess it is, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's completely trivial. Okay. I don't, don't show me shit games like this anymore. Please. Did you even review this game? Did you see? Did you find your mistakes in it? I hate this. My god, what the fuck? 
Why are you playing chess like this? I guess you're like just blitzing out the moves because you're playing the faster time control. This better like blitz to me. Okay, yeah, is 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 Wonka still in here? Let me see. Social. What was his name? Autosomish Mishra. Ashutosh Mishra. Oh my god, that's the coolest. That's the coolest profile picture I've ever seen. Look at that guy. Um. Okay, and he does a review he game. He just plays bu bu bullet. Okay, let's challenge him. Um, I mean, actually, he's so weak that maybe I'll just play... Maybe I'll just play 10-5 against him to not waste too much time. But I think he, he left. Doesn't want any more to challenge. You can actually... I can actually take his place. Wait, wait, wait. Do you want to play me, Lele? Yeah, we can play, sure. If he doesn't want any more, yeah, Lele, you can send me a challenge if you want to, because I think he Wonka went away. He's just a weird bounty hunter. I mean, not a bounty hunter. He's like a baby hunter, because he just goes around Twitch. There's like a lot of people who are like that. They butter you butter you up by following you, and then he, then they want to play a game, but then they never show up again. If I can, for sure, that I want to play. Yes, okay, send me a challenge. Uh, ten five or ten fifteen. I mean fifteen ten. Uh, rapid with increment. That's the condition. No, no three uh, thirty minute games though. I guess we can go just ten minute. I guess to make it fast. Are we friends? Are you my friend? Um, who are you? Because I can just play a quick game. Hello, Top Dolphin. Greetings, greetings. Welcome to the stream. I'm I'm trying to play viewers, but they are not viewing, and they're not playing, and they're not cooperating. Mm, what's up? Thank you for stopping by. Playing with viewers. There we go. Are you the prettiest dolphin? No, top dolphin doesn't that mean... I mean, I guess he could be the top prettiest dolphin, but I feel like top dolphin is like the most muscular. I am the coolest. Okay, yeah. I mean, muscularity and coolness, is, they go hand in hand. What is your nickname in chess? I'm Zerosini, dude. It's its its in every stream. And you can actually scroll down, you can see my profile down there. But yeah. Uh, just send me, a rec send me a challenge, please. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, let's look at some puzzles in the meanwhile. But yeah, Dolphin, what's up? I'm on the ninth day of my disaster to master chess improvement journey. I'm at around, like, around 1500 rated now. And going going pretty pretty strong. I had my puzzle highest rating, I had my blitz highest rating yesterday and I it's just going going nicely. Just gotta buckle up and also get to highest rating rapid and then I can start improving more and then I can get numbers bigger and then I can feel like I'm worth I'm a worthy human being. Okay, this is very strong. Mmm Oh, that, oh fuck, I, I was gonna do... Okay, okay, that's not correct. I didn't have time to calculate. I probably shouldn't have just thrown away Puzzle ELO, but hey, uh, can you send me the request again? Yeah, uh, I had like five seconds to accept it. Where'd it go? Just send me another one. What's your name? Oh wait, no, you are not. You didn't add me. But yeah, just send another one. Please, I'm sorry. But yeah, 10 five is, is good. Okay, let's go. And you're like 500 rated or something like that. You just start, like st just started playing a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, I'm gonna try to teach you some things and I think that's why you're here. That's nice. I've been playing a lot lately and I am slowly climbing back to my peak. Yeah, good job. But also remember, uh, the ELO really doesn't matter. I kind of mis misrepresented my, my views by talking about the ELO because I really don't care about my ELO. Also look at this, I played a perfect game yesterday with Blitz. Perfect. I mean, it's, it's just uh, the opening, and he just blundered, and then I grab his queen. I have a feeling you're a 2000 ELO player. <laughs> yeah, I mean, most of the guys who would come here, they're, okay, I sent you again. Okay, I'm trying to try to try to click on it. This is a uh, this is target practice reaction test. But I'm not seeing it. Send again. Why is it taking so long? Just send more. 
I mean, 1100. I wish I was 2k elo. 1100, that's good. That's good. You can get there. But yeah, don't worry about your elo too much. Because the elo comes after you, your skill. I mean, the elo follows skill, not the, not the other way around. So you don't need to worry about your elo as long as you're getting better. As long as you're learning something. Like, even just one thing that you're thinking about after you analyze your games, it's you're, you're on the journey to improvement. Bro, where are, where's the invite? Just spam me, spam me invites. Why is it taking so long? Invite please, invite please, Lele. What's happening, Lele? You're not the goat. What's happening? Because I can't... What's your username? I can't send you invites because I don't know you. Just spam me invites. Are you on phone? No, you're on the PC, right? If your ELO gets high too quickly, Kramnik will report. Okay, there we go. <laughs> no, I need to stop blundering so much. Most of my games, even when I win, it's after I blunder and I just trick people, but I stop working the higher I go. Yeah, yeah. Mm, that definitely makes sense. It, it feels really good when you kind of like stop blundering. I've like stopped just dropping a piece pretty reliably. Um, like in the past like three or four weeks that I've been like playing chess again, I've only blundered a piece like two times. And one of them was in a completely losing position, I think. Yeah, so I was already mentally ruined. But but yeah, once you can, you know, get to that level, you can, you're you going to be happy. Don't play knight c6 here. That's a blunder. Don't play knight c6. Play anything else, but not knight c6. Doing king d7, that's good. <laughs> no. But yeah, no, don't play knight c6. Mm. Um, but yeah, you, you, you'll get there. Uh, you just gotta, I guess... Nice. Oh, we can go here right away. Yeah. Pattern recognition and just like board vision and stuff like that. I guess like if you just practice tactics a lot, because uh, that's going to force you to see positions. Uh, and that's going to force you to look at many positions quickly and analyze them quickly, rapidly. And that's going to like make it more effective, make, make your chess eye a bit more effective. Uh, that's going to help you just like stop blundering pieces because the thing that makes you blunder pieces. Also, you're playing really well here, by the way. Your, this is theory. Very good. Very good. Lele. Um, but yeah, just the more chess you play, the more you see. Okay, that's not very active. Uh, I think there might be... Do we just go back here right now? Let me see. Because then you can just go back. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. I mean, there's no reason to jump back with the knight yet. Because I think about c4, but then... No, that doesn't really... Maybe just develop the knight. Okay, we'll get ready to jump over here. Because you can't actually control that square anymore. Mm. Okay, castles. Yeah, you're playing a bit passive. Your bishops are passive. It's completely fine, I think. Um... I think I'll just go bishop d3, and yeah, you're you're doing much better compared to like many 1500s even in this opening. Playing very solid. Um, yeah, wonder what the best idea here is. I mean, c4 seems kind of pleasant in a way. It does allow kind of a nasty check on b4, so maybe I'll prevent that. Actually, should I have just played a3 to stop you from jumping in, maybe? Hmm. Okay, there we go. Now we can go back. So attacking the... Yeah, not there. Go there. So attacking the knight. Yeah, when you stop blundering, you can get to 25, yeah, 1300 easily. Yeah. But it's, it's a gradual... Gradual, it's not like binary, it's not like just a boolean value, you either blunder pieces or you don't. Because of course in a harder, I mean, then the kind of definition of blunder is gonna become wider. Like, then you, you know, start blundering pieces in two moves. Like, you know, like a check fork or something like that. At least I was like, that. Yeah, I agree, I just need to practice and also I need to learn something with black that's not a troll defense. Okay, I think I take here now. Uh, yeah, I mean, openings are not super important. But I guess it, if you if you want to do that, you can definitely, uh, you know, try to improve your chest like that. Um, I think here, 
We'll just take the knight, ruin the pawns. And now this is gonna create a hole on c5, which we can try to eye with our knight. Oh, sorry, if I hit the mic. Uh, I also can, can just castle. Let me see. Yeah. Do I castle first? I think I just castle. Could also jump in there, which doesn't really do anything right now, but it's a nice square for sure. Yeah, just castle, just be chill with it. And now, uh, the c5 square is very weak. So you're gonna start thinking about jumping in there, trying to get some queenside play, maybe play c3 as well. Uh, to get the queen in, involved. Because these, these uh, pawns are, are targets now. I don't really think I need to stop c4 from happening. I think that's a... yeah. b3. Yeah, it weakens the pawn. Okay, maybe I should have stopped that. Hey, thank you for the follow! Whoa, maybe I should have stopped that actually, I wasn't even looking. Maybe, yeah, because h3 is a very common idea in these openings. In this opening. I think I can just go here, though. I mean, do I even care if you take? I mean, you can go here and... Oh, that's a, that's a common idea, too. Go here and then... And recapture with the knight. That doesn't seem super good. But if I just go here... But then you... Just kick me away. Oh, I think I... Yeah, wow, well, you're playing really well. What the hell? That's a really good move. I think I have to go back. Then we can play c3 to uh, solidify the center. Yeah, because now taking isn't really an issue. We can also play h3 and try to hide with the bishop if I want to. Mm. Yeah. I can put my... Uh, okay. I can put my queen here to target the weakness. It is defended by the, by the bishop, but still. If this happens... Do I take with the knight or the pawn? No, we take with the pawn, of course, because this walks into a fork. Okay, it's two knights versus two bishops. Oh, actually, that's really bad. I really like that. Uh, let me see. How do I make progress here? I can't believe you're 400, right? What the heck's happening? How have you not like plundered a piece yet? I mean, we can attack the pawn here. Um... Can develop the queen, like over here, possibly. Um, maybe I'll put the knight. I mean, the knight is kind of nice here. You can play there. Maybe I'll bring the rooks in. Maybe I'll just tar target thing here. I'm thinking this attacks here. If you close it. I just jump there. Hmm. I don't know, the knight doesn't really know what to do. We'll blunder in the middle end game for sure. Why do you why do you know that? What does that mean? Mm, do I just go C I mean C3 looks very logical as well, because it um, solidifies the pawn in the center. Just gotta make sure we don't blunder or something. Letter on his stockfish. Mm. True, but I think playing nothing would be better than playing like Stafford or England Gambit traps. Okay, well, yeah. I mean, I don't know Stafford Gambit at all. I mean, Eric Eric Rosen loves it, but uh, mm, I guess yeah, just playing nothing, which would be like you know playing e5 against e4 and then just developing and just playing like not theory, but like you know the moves that your brain gives me. I always play blunders. I mean, if you play this well in all of your games, you should be like at least 900 rated, I think. It's still probably... A, well, I don't know if it's even better for white here. Could go here and threaten this. Because um, your bishops are... I mean, actually, yeah, your bishops are kind of weak. Um, what is that move? That's kind of odd. Um... Like, how do I even make pro progress here? Progress? King attack? King side attack? Ah, Probably not. 
Uh, we can also try to push e4, actually. It might be an idea. Because uh, what are you planning with that? Planning to maybe infiltrate? Not that scary, honestly. I think. And maybe we just go rook e1. Try to prepare like an e4 push. Because then that leaves a lot of weak pawns. We do need to move the knight first because this blunders the knight, but yeah, still. Hmm. Hello, Rain. Rain is in the chat. Sorry, I ignored Rain for a moment. Hello, welcome to the stream. Hey, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Eternal Grudge Nom. Are you eating? You sure like eating? No, that's not. No, that's okay. That's. You can't say that to a woman, but. Um, yes, eating is good. I love eating too. I've been trying to eat really well recently. Like, if sometimes at night I'm like, fuck, I didn't get enough protein, and then I quickly make a protein shake and then I just consume it. Um, I can take here. I can take here, but I can take with the queen or the knight too. Queen doesn't really make sense. You can in here. What are you, what's happening? Yeah, there's this cox into that. I think we have to just take with the pawn. That was kind of the idea anyway. So then you can go there. Whoa. You're not playing like a 400 at all. Is this rated? This is rated. Why did you play? Why did you challenge me with a rated game? Why would you do that? That's so mean. Katagiri, no. You can't just steal 16 elo points from me. This is not a serious game. What? <laughs> rated llama. Yeah, don't don't challenge me to a rated game when you when I have nothing to gain from it. Actually, we could have maybe gone there. Well, probably not. Any attack? Yeah. Okay, now we didn't go there, even though that's like the idea. Why didn't you go there? Develop a tempo. Oh, now you're planning it. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, these bishops are kind of scary. Because now that, that traps the rook. I mean, we can just stop it like this, I guess. We could move the queen as well. That's really awkward. Okay, let's just stop the let's stop the bishop from coming in. Bro, I have a friend who is like 600. When I play him, right, that I have to beat him like 16 to one if I want to, even if it's, it's unreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's how the elo system works. That's the point. But yeah, because you're not really supposed to be playing players who are six times worse than you. But what the hell is happening here? Like, I don't think you made a single blunder or anything. You're just playing super duper solid. What the hell? You're just finding everything. All the ideas. You're not a 400 rated player. What's, okay, maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I'm just... The engine is gonna probably disagree with me. I need chess buddies. You don't have chess buddies? Am I, am I not a chess buddy of yours? Come on, man. Don't be, don't, don't be like that. Hmm... Because if you play against me rated and then you listen to me play, then it's just not fair. Wow. What? It's just not fair, right? Because then you have an un uneven, I mean, unfair advantage. So if I'm, if you're gonna checkmate me or anything, I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna ask that you ask it, ask for a join instead. Because this is, it's technically cheating what you're doing right now, and I don't really care about. Just dropping my chest, dropping my elo for like no reason. Um, I think I go here. This is a bit passive. I mean, that's a good square for the knight. Is it? I think it's. It makes sense to go here instead. 
maybe ID square with, with some rook moves possibly in the future. We actually put a rook here as well. Hmm. Knock the queen away. Takes, yeah. I don't think there's any weird in-between moves. That's a good move, yeah. We all need to have a game night on Discord. Kramnik is watching Lele game right now. <laughs> uh, what do you mean game night on Discord? What does that mean? You can't just like gather around with your buddies and play chess. That's not how. That's not how it works. Mm. Are you like trying extra hard here? Because I mean, I guess I can see if you play like a ten hours of chess a day the latter games are gonna become much you know lower quality but damn this is unreal oh you can just go there i didn't see that well you never invited me to study you never invited me to study what do you mean <laughs> am i the guy am i supposed to ask you asking you for a date what the heck come on get your shit get your shit together you can't just be like, you didn't ever invite me. I'm not. Uh, I, I I wanted it, but I didn't want. I didn't wanted you to ask me, but you've asked me. What? Uh. Okay. Mm. I mean, if you take here, that's not actually that bad. I mean, does leave this one really weak? I didn't think about this because then it attacks unpleasant unpleasant i mean now we can go here i don't think i want to drop a pawn for no reason though damn it dude um you're just completely squeezing me mm. i can go there but then you take and then you take I don't think it's very good. It's not a very good top. But yeah, you're not playing like 400 at all. I mean, I think we just have to ruin our pawns. Yeah. That's okay, I guess. There's not like a tempo move I can make. I can go there. And if you just take... There's nothing, yeah. I play 13 rapid games today. That's way too many. That is a lot of games. Yeah, that's too many games. You can't just play rapid games forever. That's not how it works. But yeah. Let's call it a draw if I lose because there's no... You don't review your games? I guess you can't. Interesting. Um, you have 400 games. What the fuck? Okay. Do you play bullet? <laughs> A tiny bit. I used to play more when I was 800. But no, it, that's not a good reason. Being addicted to chess. Because... I mean, I guess, yeah, but why don't you use the time doing something useful in chess? Okay, if I go here now, that looks like a decent move. It's like my queen. Okay, I guess I could also move my queen. Um, does e4 work here? No. If I go there, that no, that doesn't drop this pawn. I can maybe go there. Need to get some activity with my knights, honestly. Maybe, you know, I this square. Um, this doesn't, this is not actually a threat, right? Maybe there's some crazy tactic. Probably not, though. Can also go here right now. Threaten the fork over there. I mean, not really. I go here, that's actually a... Uh, you just kick me away. 
No, you don't. I mean, let's let's look at this. Oh, I'm running out of time. Okay, let's just be chill. Just be chill with it. I don't think that loses immediately. That's all I want here. I mean, if you want to get better, you can use some of that time to study or read books, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's... I mean, what, what are you saying? No, I need to get 350 ELO. I mean, 3500 30, 30, ELO. Maybe, but you don't get that by playing 30 in rapid games a day. Okay, now this is bad because you can kick me away, I think. So maybe we want to go here. <coughs> So we want to try to stack up on the... But actually, no, I guess it works. Mm. Yeah, maybe it works. Yeah, you having the file is really annoying. You could do this, but then that pins the knight. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. That's interesting that you trade there. Okay, I think that that's bad for you. Cause that, and maybe you saw something I didn't see, but um, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oops, oops, that was a pre move. I almost pre moved. Oh my god. I can't read. I have patience or mo. Another patience or mo. You just said you have motivation. You were addicted. That's motivation. Like I got three books last week. Didn't start. Don't get three books. What does that mean? That what does that mean? That's like saying, oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not at using bolt speed yet. I did get, I did apply to three running practice training clubs, and they all have three, uh, you know, lessons a week. I didn't go to any of them yet. That's not. Of course, I'm gonna get triggered when you're just acting dumb. <laughs> Don't get three books last week. Just get one book and start reading it. Get, make a plan for yourself. It, it, you can't just apply the three running clubs and then be surprised when it, when you don't start running. Okay. Mm, I think we're doing good now. Just take the open file. It's gonna be a draw. Audiobooks, maybe? No, there's no chess audiobooks. You just have to be disciplined if you want to get good. Yeah. Um. Wait, that's not checkmate. Wow. Do you have to go here? What the hell? Oh, now I can take there. Wow. I'm running out of time. Okay, yeah. But yeah, when I start running, yeah, I can just take there. Wow. Um. Yeah, that doesn't work. We can. I think we push. And we try to get our knight in. How are we playing that? I mean, this is not how 400 player, 400 writer players play. You haven't made a single blunder yet. Like, what the hell? But yeah, if I start running out of time or anything, just just send me a right, uh, a draw. Right? I'm just gonna tell you this. Oh, you do that. What the fuck? Okay, we can go here and attack the bishop. Alright. No, we can't because... No, we, we can, yeah. And we can go here as well. Um, I don't know what's better. Let me go here. And if you take with the queen, yeah, you win material. Why is Lele beating you? I don't know. I mean, it's not my regular time control. I went for this because I didn't want to waste, you know, half an hour playing against the 400 right there. What? What? What's happening? 
Nothing, right? Just hunger queen. Oh my god, wait, you promote. I can't grab it. Okay, okay. We can't grab this because then you push. And then you then I lose, right? You're not sending me a draw draw offer, man. Okay. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna have time to send me a draw offer soon. Okay, now I can do this. No, I can't. Oh he's What? Jesus Christ. I could have actually gone there as well to block the uh, brack, rank, brack rank. Lele is OP, what the fuck, yeah. But yeah, don't let me run out of time. Oh, there's no, there's no increment here. Oh, you win- oh my god, I just hung that! Okay. I'm losing now. <laughs> okay, send me the- send me the trade- send me the- send the draw for- Offer a place. Because I lost this. Yeah, I'm just gonna resign. I give up. Yeah. There's nothing. Okay, there we go. Offer to draw. Thanks, but... Oh my god. You're not a 400 rated player. Oh. Jesus Christ. 95.8%. 95.8%. 400 rated player. Jesus Christ, you played out of your mind. Let, let's just look at what the engine said. It says you played like a 1750. Lele, are you are you okay? 100 rated? Okay, okay. So this is a theory. Okay, all is great. I'm playing well. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, actually, it wasn't supposed to take. It takes is better. Interesting. I thought the idea was... Because this is best. I thought the idea was to take with the knight so you don't win your pawns. But I guess this clamp uh, is nice. Ah, it's weird. You did a brilliant. I know a certain Russian who would put unsatisfied with this game. Yes. It's very interesting. Um, 400 rated. Let me see. Okay, so here you're already winning. I mean, I played really well. 85% accuracy. That's really, really good. Thanks for the draw offer, by the way. Uh, this should this should be equal. Now it's already better for you. Ninety five. I need to just give this up. We don't take. Rook c eight check, and then you gotta go back with the bishop, and then we can bet g six, and that wins. Okay. Because you're yeah, you're gonna lose your bishop soon. Um. Or didn't blunder anything. Yeah, that's a brilliant. I just, I just thought that's. I just thought that was, you know, you just lose the queen, but that's completely winning. But I mean, I was already lost here almost. I mean, I wasn't even considering like that move. That's crazy because I can't take. Because then you just promote. It's completely losing. And then this, then this move. Okay. I'm glad you didn't take me any points from that. Um, was it a good game though? What's happening? You're 400 rated? You played chess for a couple of weeks? And you didn't blunder once? Did I blunder once? I'm, I'm really happy with my game actually. I, I played pretty well. Can we play now? Uh, used, uh, I guess, yeah. But I'm st still looking at this like, look at this. I had no mis- I had, I had two mistakes apparently. Oh yeah, that's... Yeah, I didn't realize this move because you're pinning my rook. I was supposed to just come up with counterplay here. Because then you just grab the- Oh wait, you can't grab because I- Wait, can you? Interesting. Hmm. Lele, do you always play this well? Do you never blunder in your games? I'm not done with this. Because I'm just completely losing after this. Um, B4 is still... The latest undercover 2000 yellow play. I mean, yeah, definitely. This is not. This is definitely pretty fucking amazing. Because you didn't play a single mistake. It's one mistake there. Yeah, I thought this was a mistake. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you're going places if you're playing like this after three weeks of chess. Mm, let me see. Are you playing like this always? 
Because that's kind of crazy. Okay, let me go. Let me get a longer game. Only one mistake, Lamar. Yeah, and it was only it only went to uh, it was I mean it wasn't even you were never losing. It was a mistake that only. Oh, then he just then he just hung a pawn. He just hung hung a pawn on the first move there or the second move I mean. And they hung up, hung up, uh, queer. Like, how are you not, how are you not more higher rated? You have 400 games. Let me see. Maybe a longer game. You're 400, only one mistake. This looks more like 400 chess. Yeah, that's, that's more like it. Um, okay, Rui Lopez. Oh yeah, there you can't take. But they don't know the theory. Oh wait, no, that works too, I guess. Maybe it doesn't. And no, they don't take, okay. Okay. I mean, I don't. Okay, that's you find the fork. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, that's a, that's a good game as well. What the heck? I'm I'm freaked out. Is this what they're making? Is this what they're cooking in Italy? Is this the new pasta recipe? Okay, here you. You played against an 1100 rated player. Okay. I mean, you're just playing. Okay, that's weird. You're just completely winning against an 1100. Again. Why is your rating not higher? If you play so much and. Okay, okay, okay. Game review. What's happening? Well, I'm so I'm just confused about. Okay, no, that wasn't the. Oh wait, no, you were winning, but then you just threw it away. You just hung a hung a rook in one move, and then you missed this. Wait, no, what did you miss? Oh yeah, yeah, missed the missed the missed the fork. Okay, yeah, yeah, I missed that too. But and then you don't defend the pawn. Nalele is definitely an alt account. This is weird. I am so freaked out. Am I being... Am I Kramnik? Wait, there's another game. Wait, is this the one I analyzed? 95.1%. Did I analyze this or was it analyzed by somebody else? What the hell? Wait, what? What is this opening? Okay. Can you play like... Kind of like the London system, but the bishop is not inside the pawns. Ninety-five percent accuracy. You push the pawn. You move the queen. You take the pawn. This is just perfect chess, and then you win the rook. I will improve my skills for not playing arrows like that anymore. What the fuck is this? Exactly. That's so odd. 95%. What's happening with your losses? Wait, wait, wait. What are your losses? Oh, closed. Fair play. Bro. What? On stream? You got closed for fair play on stream? I never said it. Thanks for giving me the draw. But don't just throw away, I mean, throw away your account. You can see that, right? Close fair play. Don't just th throw away your account just because you want some wins. He plays like a four and then he's randomly Magnus. Yeah, okay, so they, they got... I didn't even report them. But they got, they got banned right now. I mean, it was really obvious. I just didn't want to say it. Because it's, it's douchey. Why did why they report me? What do you mean? Reports don't ban people. Reports give notice to the system to analyze a player in more depth. <sighs> I mean, it was really obvious. I didn't play my best. I mean, I did. I played really well, uh, but there were mistakes. There were. Uh, I can. You know, there were two mistakes definitely. 
I'm used to pro. Okay, okay, wait. Let me just... Bro, I not cheated. That's, that's not the that's not the question anymore. That's not the that's not the conversation. The conversation is about wow, that's really impressive that they just banned you on stream, like immediately after that game. Even though I didn't report you, and it's also mind blowing that you just cheated. Like, why did you cheat against me? If you're not cheated, you are manipulating rain to be low elo. Yeah, it's either it's either or. It's a bannable offense. But awards, successful ref referral. That's it. But you did referral. Good, good, good for you. But bro, what the hell? Why would you cheat against me? Because that was never. I never believed you. You just pretended. I'm gonna. St I'm gonna stop making the blunders that I never make. That was a fast ban. Yeah, I mean, but they have clearly cheated before as well. So. It was just the last nail in the coffin. Wow. Bro, that's not how you improve a chess. You can't come in here, be like, oh yeah, I play three. Wait, where are your losses? Loss? Okay, so you lose in... You just... Okay, there you just ab abandon the game. Here you lose. I mean, don't say I didn't cheat, because obviously you did. You're just being dishonest with yourself, I guess, if you if you say something like that. Okay. What is this? It's just, it's so obvious. You're either a master that like pretends to be a kindergartner every now and then, or you're... Uh, oh, then you just hang mate in one. Or you, you use the stock whistle every now and then. Bro, I didn't know why I would cheat. If, why did you get banned if you didn't cheat? It's so like here, wait, what's happening? And then you just blunder for no reason. Like a really, really simple blunder. And oh wait, no, that's the wrong person. That's the wrong player. We're looking at you're playing black. Yeah. So the opponent blunders, and you're completely winning. You grab everything, and then you just blunder made in one. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, but I didn't just. I mean, how did you play like a seventeen fifteen then? How do you do that and sometimes just blunder mate in one? Okay, it's fine. We don't need to. I'm kind of just gonna, I don't know, Lele, you, you're a nice guy, but I don't really... I lost all my respect for you. You keep calling me goat and stuff. You tried to butter me up in the play. Okay, uh, just send me, a, send me an offer. Let's play. Let's play, just. And I can't believe you tried to steal my rating as well. You sent me a rated. Oh, actually, I'll take a leak quickly. <laughs> That's really funny. That's really funny. Damn, thanks chess.com, anti-cheating engine. Uh, give me a sec, sir. Damn, okay. Let's light Lele up in the chat. Let's make let's make them regret their decisions. <laughs> Cause it's so funny that you didn't even like try to hide it. Like you play super patiently, extremely disciplined chess, and then you sacrifice your queen when it's a brilliant move. And the queen sacrifice wouldn't have been suspicious if you had been just sacrificing your pieces left and right. As it as like a you know, like a seven four hundred does. I did that too when I was like, you know, a thousand rated. I was like, oh, this definitely this sacrifice leads to a winning attack. Okay, let's go. Used to pro. We can play rated games used, by the way. That would be cool. But it's okay if not. I mean, I guess, yeah, let's play them instead. Because I'm better than you, so I can farm rating from you. 
he believed that I don't, I cheat, I don't know what to tell you, but I didn't cheat, but I will challenge you if I cheat. That's not, it's not my job to answer why you would challenge, why would you, why you would cheat against me. That's your job to answer. Because you clearly did it. Because mm, like, how would you, how do you explain playing at like almost 2000 um, rated level? Uh, what is this? What the hell is this line? And then playing, like, hanging mate in one in other games. Like, how do you explain that discrepancy in, in game quality? And I think I'll just push here, why not? I didn't say you can't improve fast. I was saying, why are you improving and then su being super ass and then improving? Why, are you, why is your skill rating going like this or skill? Because I was never 400 rated. I mean, maybe you just want to, you know, uh, you know, dunk on the noobs. Because I was never 400. I started at like 500 and then I got in like a month, I got to like a thousand. And I was never, and you're beating me now. I was never at as low as you. And after four years, you're beating me, even though you're as, you're lower than I ever was. When I barely knew what the pieces do, when I couldn't really remember which one is left, king or queen, I still had a higher rating than you. Or which is left, like how, how yeah, which is e-file, which is d-file. Um, I think just do this. Yeah. I don't know what this opening is, bro. You're already creating really big dark cold square, square dark square weaknesses. One can improve, but you're not even analyzing your games. Like you're not there's no leverage for your improvement with the way you're playing. Really interesting that you just decided to do that. Oh, you is Croatian now. What the hell? Hello Croatian. What the fuck you were cheat you were lying to me. I'm gonna ban you. Learning dragons is silly because it sounds cool. <laughs> Why are you, bro? You can't, you can't just switch. Well, how do you say it? Yeah, you can't just change teams. Check. If I go here, not that's not check. What am I talking about? That looks kind of nice though. Just if you pin yourself. I'm just gonna create even more weaknesses, and that's nice. I think I'll just go there. Just one at brother. Mm. Analyze them, I just don't rewatch them because I can't. I'm sorry, but you can't play some moves that I as a 15 didn't even see. And not just one, but multiple. Yeah, thanks, just, thanks for... Yeah, just focus on the game, just, you don't need to be defending me or anything. But yeah. Because I didn't even like really look into the moves. I mean, I I could have calculated the queen sacrifice a bit better because I was looking at it and I didn't really didn't realize that you just promote after that. Um, but it's just re oh you can go there. I guess that makes sense. It's okay. It's okay. Um, but it was just really obvious. It was really really obvious. Um, what if we close up the center? I don't think I do want to do that. I think just develop. Because you're somewhat developmentally challenged, and yeah. You also go there. Well, if you go there, that's okay, right? No fuck up your kingside. We don't really not need to castle kingside. Um, we're not really committed to that. Either way, you can prove to Chester.com you didn't cheat. You can prove to Chester.com. You can prove to Chester.com you didn't cheat. I mean... <laughs> You don't need to prove the evidence is I'm like 99.99% sure that you did cheat because there's multiple games that you play like I'm not because you, you're avoiding my question Lele if you're still in the chat I want to hear from you how you how do you explain the massive discrepancy in the quality of your games sometimes you look like you're or like even some moves like some moves you're playing like a grandmaster and some moves uh, you uh, just hang mate in one like I haven't hung mate in one I can't remember the last time I hung mate in one right people don't do that if they know how to play chess 
Especially when it's like such a clear situation like yours. Yours was in the game that I saw. It's just it's just funky. Really funky. But yeah, this is gonna be a YouTube video. That's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna make my first chess YouTube video. Maybe that maybe that's gonna be cool. I can do some editing and stuff as well. Wow. Hmm. But yeah, I'm not ashamed of my performance at least. I held my own. Yeah. And you didn't cheat on all the moves, definitely. But of course you don't. Okay. Castles. Hmm. I feel like you've created so many weaknesses on the king side. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like. Let me see. Do I close up the center? What if I do? What would you tell me if I closed up the center? Because I would maybe think about going h4, right? Is it the pirates? No, it's not the pirates because you push d4. And then what is this freaking system, dude? Um, yeah, because there's no uh, knight on f6, so maybe just go h4. If you go there, that's just awesome for me, I think. If you just... Um, do I put, do I close the center first? Because then you can go there. But that's okay too, I think. If you open up the position, yeah. Let's go H4, see what happens. Maybe I will close up the center. Maybe that's inaccurate, but I feel like if you can't let your bishop out, well, let's go H4 for now. So I think it's still okay if you open up the center. <laughs> Gonna be nibbling at your pawns. Yeah, yeah, good luck trying to appeal appeal the ban. Because sometimes I just think, oh, that maybe a, is a good move, and that is a good move, and sometimes, no, I just watch a lot of videos of Grandmaster, and actually I'm an older player than one month ago. I was looking at games from like a couple days ago. Like two days ago. It's actually shocking that you didn't get banned before now. Damn. Mm. Okay, just stop expl I don't I don't wanna hear it. There's no more conversational juice to be squeezed out of this interaction. I don't I don't care, in other words. G4 seems cool as well. You swear that you didn't see it. Jesus Christ, who do you swear to? Swear to your mother, swear to your grandmothers and mother. Please do that. That might make me reconsider. Swear on all of your ancestors and parents. Not on God, because I don't know if you're religious. Hmm, what is you doing here? He's, he's scared by my h4 move, I can see that. He's intimidated. I would be too. Okay, so you're trying to... I mean, now I think I'll close up the center. Could go there as well. But yeah, because this pawn is gonna hang now. Right? Yeah, let's just close up the center. Mm, yeah, very nice. My pieces are nice and active. You're a bit passive, yours are a bit tied down. I'm feeling really strong about this. You didn't swear on your parents. Why didn't you swear on your parents, man? Or swear to your parents? Now I need to go to eat dinner, yes. I hope you, I hope there's a little rock in your dinner, like a tiny little rock, that like doesn't fuck up your teeth, but like kind of fucks up the enamel in like one spot. That happened to me once. I was just in a student restaurant eating, eating a succulent meal. And that's just a rock. Okay. You want to move your knight, I think. Uh, that's not like too bad, but I think I can just go g4. Or do I go h4 first? 
Just go G4. Like, what's bro gonna do? Um, Because if I just go H4 and you go there. Takes, takes. I mean, actually... It's okay, we open up the file. It's completely fine. You do that. Actually, in that case, maybe I like not having pushed G4. But I mean, this just makes it really hard for you to develop the, the knight. Like, impossible almost. You can push F6. Which is kind of ass. I think it's okay. Let's just go crazy, man. Let's just play as fast as we can. Mm. Uh, the knight coming in there isn't actually a threat, right? I think I'll have to castle long soon. Damn. I wonder how Lele goes to his family. He smiles to his mother. Okay, F6. Knowing that he's a, he's a little demon inside. Okay, we can create this nice E5 hole here. Um, I think we just do that. The rook is there. And the, the pawns just get fuck, fucked up. Brother. That can't be good for you. You can't push E5. Not yet, though. Yeah. I love this dude. Okay. I mean, we don't need to take either. And we can if you want to. Um, maybe I'll take. Lele is really a very nice man. He's very depressed and the only happiness he gets is by finding chess streamers and cheating against them and then pretending he didn't. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, then pretending he didn't is a very important part of that equation. Um, but it's not like he just came here and pretended... He's been pretending to be a cool dude for, like, multiple days, like, almost a week now. He's been calling me the GOAT and, like, commenting on my YouTube stuff. And, like, he's just been, like, the biggest fan. I think I'll just take... That's gonna leave your squares really weak. I mean, do I take... I think it's still better to maybe keep it like this. Okay, let's just take here. She can't take. You take with the queen? Actually, if you take with the queen, we can come in here right now. Right here, right now. I would love to have long castled here. Maybe I... But it's okay. It's completely fine. Like, your king cover... Jesus Christ, I'm playing this so well. I'm not a cheater. You go to eat your dinner. Go eat your dinner, man. Go eat your dinner. Your mom's gonna be disappointed. You need to go eat the freaking ravioli, dude. Okay, is that racist? No. Ravioli is great. Okay, the knight comes in there. Okay, and this bishop move makes quite a bit of sense. It does hang this pawn, but is that a problem? Maybe it is. Uh, we can go here with the bishop, attack the rook. Then you can just slide back. If you take, I'm I'm happy with that, right? Hmm, what's the most accurate way to move here? We need to long castle, that's for sure. And not just from the attacking perspective, just from, you know, chess perspective. We can't, you know, fuck us fuck ourselves up too hard. If I go here, you can't go there. And maybe I might be sure it's just kind of in the way. Mm, I would love to plonk a knight there at some point. Right now it's kind of impossible though. Hmm. This looks nice too. No, it doesn't really. Not really, not really. Okay, think of this sacrifice. No. Doesn't lead to anything. Yeah, we need to just get our pieces going. Maybe go here.
think trading here isn't that bad. It also brings the rook out into a kind of vulnerable spot. Hmm. I mean, I can also do this and bring the queen in. Maybe I'll just do this. Actually, no, if I take, then I can put my bishop here. But I want a long castle. That's my first plan. First plan of action. I would like to stop you from bringing your bishop in. Actually, which is kind of done by this move. Hmm. Chitter Chitter Pumpkin Eater. <laughs> what does that mean? I've never heard that before. That's really funny. I didn't come here for being your fan, just for that, for them playing a game against you and dealing against you, just for the disappear. Yeah, I mean, I, I get that feeling. That's why I didn't want to be so mean, super mean. And that's why I was really making sure I don't accuse you for nothing. Mm. I guess this is kind of awkward for you. And the king being there is also kind of nice, I think. Drawing the king out in the open. Oh, then this is a threat. No, it's not. Okay, let's go there. But I mean, I yeah, that's why I kind of understand it's not from maliciousness. There has to be some reason, because I, I don't really understand why people cheat. But there are reasons why people kind of, you know, go on the dark side. You know, I don't understand why people, you know, are bad people or like do crimes. Oh, that's... I guess that's... Maybe I should have traded the bishop. Because now this is going to hang. Oh, fuck. And now we're defending this square. Mm -mm. Fuck. We now can go there. And I can eat your rook. Wait, isn't your rook just like trapped? I can go there. And my bishop is here alone. Which is probably the best option. Or best outcome. I think I go here now. Is it too premature? What do you mean too premature? Is it premature or is it not? Those are the options. We still have time. I think I go here. You can't take here or anything. I just take the rook, right? Oh, damn. I'm, I'm really happy with my kingside attacks recently. You're really funny. I just want to join your life and maybe learn some chess and some other things. I love your lives. I would never cheat against someone so kind. Okay, so all of those I understand, but not the last point, because you definitely did cheat against me, because you can't under I can't explain why that wasn't cheating. Because I, yeah, I was also, I, I was just kind of disappointed. That's why I wasn't, like, being mean. I was just kind of disappointed, because I, I, I thought that was going to be, you know, a quick game where you blunder and play the opening a bit incorrectly, and then give you pointers. Like, how I would, so like, any 400. There's been a couple, like, really low-rated players uh, in the streams, and I, I've just, you know, I've given them advice. And, like, to you, I cannot give any advice, because you played perfectly. Other than the, you know, couple of couple moves. Like, the one trade. But, like, there's no uh, instructive... Like, you should be teaching, 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 teaching me. Like, how do you think I should improve? Because you just destroyed me in that game. You were completely in the driver's seat the entire time. Mm, yeah. You just destroyed me. Okay. And you can just like go there or something, but then my pieces are like really crowding up, crowding about. Maybe that's not actually, maybe this is not such a good move. Maybe it's kind of like in the way, because oh, my bishop is trapped now, kind of, but you can't really attack my bishop. But yeah, my bishop doesn't really have any moves. I guess maybe he doesn't need to have moves. I don't know. Damn it, dude. Yeah. But you can't really go against the facts. It just doesn't really work like that. It's really funny, though. It's really funny. Shockingly funny. And sad. Yeah, there's no reason to be angry, because I didn't lose anything. Because you were at least courageous, or like, courteous enough to give me the rating points back. Um, but yeah, I don't actually, I don't like these two moves that I just played. They're kind of counterproductive, but it's okay. We're st I feel like we're still completely okay. So how do you, oh, don't remove a freaking night capture. You're gonna go there, I bet. 
Then the bishop is not defended. If you go there, then this is gonna hang. Hmm. How do we defend it? And we don't. We need to go back. Are you serious? Because it's not going to go here. And that doesn't work. <laughs> Bro, just admit you cheated and say you are sorry. Oh my god, yeah, what do I do? Do I just go here? You can push, you can open the center now. I mean, that's probably ass for you. You don't want to open up the center. I mean, now I need to probably defend the pawn in the center in there, right? It's not like I can bring more firepower. I mean, you can go here. Yeah, I think I... I need to just go back, unfortunately. Maybe not. I can't really find anything else. Mm. It's just long castle and then think what we can do. We can double up on the H file. It's gonna to be totally crushing. You have no pawns covering the king. We're just totally yeah. There's no counterplay for you, right? Just let's just play chill. Let's count our blessings and let's go. Give you the rating points back. You lost eight from the draw. Oh did I oh I lost eight from the Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh yeah, I forgot. Of course I lose even from a draw. Yeah, he was supposed to resign. I just totally forgot. I lost points. Did I get them back? I guess I did get them back. Yeah, minus eight, but now I'm back to 1509. Okay, thanks, chess.com. Chess.com is nicer than uh, Lele. But okay, that was cool. Oh, wait, he's, he's moved. What the hell? What is that move? Huh? Okay, I think I can just long castle. Then I can move my queen, and this is still gonna be defended nicely. Um, Like, what are you doing here? I gotta make sure there's no like uh, queenside attack, and I die. There shouldn't be. What if I go back here now? It's gonna like force a trade, pretty much. There, there. Nah. Let's put the queen either there or there. I think that's better because then it doesn't block this uh, bishop. It's not like the queen really does anything there. So let's go here. Also possibly prepares, I mean, actually, oh, should I have gone g4? Maybe not. I don't know, I don't know, dude. Okay, let's just long castle, this can't be bad. I don't think you have any counterplay. Everything's defended. You do have, I mean, you can open up the center, but we're gonna castle out of there. And it's completely okay. Yeah, we can just castle away. Um, and the bishop's gonna be defended as well, so... Yeah. That was to be expected, but I think... Okay, did that do anything? That opened up the diagonal there. Which is kind of unpleasant, maybe. I think I'll just take... Yo, you can go there. That's okay, right? Not like this knight is doing something extremely important. Wait, no, that, that also hangs the pawn there. Wait, what? Also hangs the pawn, and we can we can attack it. We're attacking the rook with check. We're also attacking here. Wait, I think you just blundered, because we're also threatening a. Let me see. We're also threatening a fork. So if you just take there, you can take the rook with check and win. I think, yeah. Let's not waste too much time here. I'm really crushing. Because it's important that we can... Okay, well, let's take the bishop. Bishop's hanging, rook's hanging, and fork is hanging. Yeah, it's 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 GG. But yeah. Good job, Top Dolphin. You got it. I mean, you, you, you noticed that. Thank you for the information. But yeah, I'm playing... I feel like I'm... Oh, I'm playing really good today. But I was hoping you saw the triple fork. I guess it is a triple fork, yeah. But I mean, you know, this is not... It's only really a double for because these things aren't really because this negates the other. But this is still a yeah. I mean that's really that's a really pretty move. Uh, but I think oh my god, don't pre-move. Uh, the counterplay comes from there, but it's not. There's no counterplay because I come. I get a free bishop to check. Yeah, I. I'm glad. I mean, I hope I didn't like trick Houston into playing. I hope Houston like listening and was like okay e5 because e5 it just like naturally looks like the the move where you can like get your bishops out 
and get counterplay because my king is still in the center, right? And maybe you can get pressure on the bishop, which is well defended now, but now it's not. Um, especially if I long castle. But I mean, I just didn't realize that the move hangs and there's bigger threats here. Like if this didn't create any threats, this would still be kind of scary because you get this pawn and you have this massive artillery on the e-file, but yeah. But then you fork the queen and rook, and I guess you're up an exchange on a full piece. Um, yeah. It's okay. I might even... Well, no, yeah, I think I'll just grab the exchange. Because as long as I can castle along, I'll be completely fine. Like, this is crushing. Yeah, okay, no, well, that doesn't work. Because I win your queen now. Oh, <laughs> my God, I got scared by that. That's such a loud, loud noise. Is that... Wait, is that too loud, by the way? Is that... Is the stream too loud? It's really loud. Maybe I should turn it down a bit. Fuck. Or maybe I can go to settings and audio. Alerts. Play. Can I set the audio a bit lower? No. Okay. Good game. GG. Oh. GG. Yeah, it was completely losing. Let me see. Um, it's asked that I have to play with Chrome, actually. It sucks. Because I need to play in Chrome because on Opera I didn't I didn't see the move like move list. It was like broken or something. You're up an exchange. Yeah, okay, okay. So um, this is already kind of bad. I don't know. You don't you usually don't want to push e6 and g6, but yeah. Good game, used good game. I'm starting to get the h4 attack ideas. I mean I don't know, I don't think I played that very cleanly, but I also don't feel like I was ever ever in trouble. So yeah, uh, you're here, right? Like, I don't think this is really theory, because you don't really want to push e6 and g6, because then it creates dark squared weaknesses for no reason. Like, I feel like this is a more disciplined uh, situation. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, let me see. Uh, let's go to analysis. But yeah, good. Uh, thanks for the game. Can I play against you on right dead? It's cool if you say no, since I'm low right. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, because I was going to play. I mean, as long as you don't play like uh, King Kramnik. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, because I was going to... I wanted to play against Lele, because they seemed like a cool dude, and they were low right dead, so I could help them. I could, like, give them advice and stuff. And, like I say, teaching is... I feel like teaching is one of the best ways to learn yourself, because it makes you... forces you to understand the... Concepts deeper. Yeah, look, engine like c6. If you if you want to defend this pawn, just go c6. And this goes to Karokan defense. Guru, oh yeah. Ah, it transposes into. Let me see. This is the, I think is this the main line? What's the main line to Karokan? Oh, e5 advances main line. But this is I think this is the old main line I think. And then g6. That's a move. Yeah. Uh, so e6 is just really ugly. Like I don't know why. The music is too loud. Is it? Thanks, Lele. <laughs> is it too loud? I mean, it's it's okay. I, I can completely take detach personal gripes with objective critting. I mean, ob objective not cheating. Objective uh, critique. Mm, okay, let's go back. Yeah, but this sucks. What is this opening? You you just play a different opening every time, and not all of them suck. Voice cuts clearly over the music. Okay, cool. Thank you. I mean, uh, it was a tad bit more than it normally is, but yeah, okay. Thanks, Dolphin. It's not gonna be in the board anyway. But yeah, okay. I feel like this is a good move. Mm. I think this still works. Wait, no, it doesn't. Right, where is it? No. You lose two pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, ha you can't put the knight there. Why does this sometimes work? Why does this sometimes work, this concept, where you push h6? Oh, because this is defended by a pawn, usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now it's not, so I, I win. Yeah, so I, can, I mean, you almost have to go there. Yeah, that's like the only move. I mean, you can probably go f6 as well. That's probably not horrible. But I was kind of betting on this... Structure weakening to be pretty nice for me. I think f6 is probably fine. It's probably the best move, I think. Because this ties you up so much. I mean, it's, it's also okay. Not like there's, you know, any immediate win. I never got d4 against me, so I just didn't choose what to play. You play 13 rapid games a day. Of course you get d4 against you. I look into it. Whatever I look into, it seems boring. I guess 
D4 usually leads into more positional games than E4. E4 is more tactical. I feel like this is a is this a good move? I feel like you should be trying to develop your pieces. Like even F6. Just like open up the position. Like just shuffling your queen is just gonna give me more time to go with go with the attack. I feel like that's a mistake. Let me just let me just try to annotate. Let's say this is inaccurate or dubious. Mm. Wait, are there any unique notations? Not really. No. Uh, the exclamation the great move used to actually maybe I'll give that a great move. I don't know. Um, it used to be maybe not. Um, it used to be not on chess.com. The only way you could make a you know blue dark blue great move was if you gave it gave the move the annotation. But now that you know a couple of years ago they created the uh, you know the weird AI thing that evaluates whether a move is great. I think taking here is fine. And here I should have probably just taken, because now I now I feel like I mean my bishop's not really doing much. Uh, it's just kind of in the way. Uh, this is just ass. I, I don't like any of this. I'm gonna give this a mistake, or at least yeah, let's give it a mistake. And this is also a mistake. I hate this. Mm -hmm. Straighting here is fine. The rook is in, uh, in a weird position. Then we can uh, maybe go here. Attack the knight, get ready to... Well, I guess maybe here it's more accurate to possibly even put the queen here and then long castle. Mm, what would you do? I mean, you want to prepare e4 for sure. Not yet though. So, I mean, you can prepare e4 with something like... Uh, I don't know, dude. You can put pressure on this weak pawn as well. Um, I don't really see anything good though. I guess you could maybe bring Bianchetto this bishop. I mean, you could do that and then bring the rook to the open file. You're just so cramped here. How do you do, how do you do this? I mean, you could do the no, that doesn't. Maybe I don't know. What do you even do here? As black, what the hell do you do here? Queen e seven. It's completely losing already. Like, it's just paralyzed. Wow. Mm. And what's happening? I never got d4 against me, so whatever I look at. Come on, just cut it off. What do you mean, cut it off? Cut the voice off? Okay, that was the last one I've done. Okay, thanks, Top Dolphin. I love it when you're destroying this this guy and also being the bigger person at the same time. That's kind of impressive. <laughs> uh, very funny. But yeah, Lele, don't need to get, like, toxic. There's no... Because I, I, I... Maybe I've been a bit, you know... A bit mean. I mean, this is probably not a mistake. Let's not give it a mistake. Maybe it's dubious. But this definitely doesn't make sense. Because it just kind of helps you... Ah, uh, wait, going here prepares e4. Wait, let me see. Maybe it does block the bishop, but it does prepare e4. Let me see. Like, what would I even do here? I guess prepare the castle. But then e4 comes. And yeah, can't, I can't defend the pawn. I probably have to capture. Is there anything better? And then you gain activity. Look at this. So I think p p preparing e5 is the only only way to do it. So then you get your bishop out. Let me see. Yeah, the engine likes this more. It's actually not that bad. Yeah, this is worse. Oh my god, I'm so good. Rook d yeah, rook d7 is good. Because it, it's important to realize your plans here. Of course, e4, and then you go for it prematurely, and it doesn't work. Oh wait, no, here it doesn't. Also, I mean, here it, yeah, here it works actually. No, it's it, no, it's it loses. Wait, what does it lose to? Uh, d takes, knight takes. I mean, there is just a really strong attack, but it's not as clear, right? Bishop takes. Yeah, I mean, you don't really, you can't really defend the king that well, but at least you get activity. Like, it's not completely hopeless. And so let's go back. And then 
I feel like my ideas are good and then this just loses. It's unfortunate that this happened, but it's a good game. Rook d7 seems much better. Okay. So I feel like e4 is here the main move. I was kind of scared because then you can do like this stuff, but no, I just win a pawn here. If you had two moves here, then this would be kind of a flimsy pawn. Uh, but let me see, actually, can I can I reverse this? Yeah, if I play if I play this myself. Wait, what happens? I go here. Then if you go here. Yeah, yeah, but I was I was kind of imagining this position where you have one tempo or more because then I take you and then this is going to hang, but that is not what happens because I go first. <laughs> I go first. Completely fine. H4 even here is really nice. Uh, that's actually not that good of a move. Game wants this check. You might just go here. I want to go to c6 and bishop d3. Why do you want to induce this? I guess it, oh, it uh, hampers the development. But I mean, the bishop, I mean, the knight just can't just go here. I mean, that's that's a really deep idea. Let me see. Is there games in this position? There are some. And bishop g5 was played most of the time. It's probably because this is like a weird line. It's not very good for black. Hello, Hexit. G999. Uh, nice to see you. Welcome to the stream. You're a really good streamer. Sorry for that. I did, bro. Keep it up. You will become a really good streamer one day. Farewell, go. Oh, they just left? I mean, I mean, yeah, I was thinking about banning them, but... Hey, thank you, Lele. Okay, Hexit, you have officially replaced Lele. Uh, we hit a uh, follower goal, I think. 134 followers. Wow, that's so many. Okay, let me just count. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's so many people. Wow. Thank you. But yeah, Lele, uh, they just dropped a farewell message. Farewell goat. Because, I mean, it's not like they can't watch the streams anymore. But yeah, they, they wanted to play against me. They were 400 player, the rated player. And I thought, oh yeah, let's go. Let's play, uh, you know, rapid game. And then he starts playing really good. And I'm like, oh no, I'm actually like, I need to sweat. What the heck's happening? And also he sent me a rated request. So if I lose, I wait, if I lose, I lose 16 points. And if I draw, I lose 8 points. And then he just like destroys me and gets a brilliant move and at the end is like, yeah, I get the brilliant move, but then I get then he gets banned immediately afterward. I'm gonna drop a YouTube video on that because that's really funny. I wanna edit that. That's that's gonna be fun. Uh but yeah, now they just left. They just rage quit. They didn't they weren't believed. Uh so Bishop G5, I mean the engine does like that to Bishop D3. But H4 is more accurate. Yeah, I was thinking like h4 is gonna happen at some point, but is it too early here? h6. Okay, if you take in the center, just take and then you go h6. You need to go h6 because then you want to play h5, uh, g5 uh, when I play h6. But yeah, exit. Welcome, welcome. And congratulations for being the 130th follower. That's 10 times 13, which is like 10 times bad luck. Definitely. I'm not superstitious, but I'm a mathem mathematician and that's true. Oh, you're still here. I know that you would done this because you are six years old, but okay, bye. Oh, now they're being toxic. What? Oh no, Lele, I thought you were a cool guy. You even got, like, they even downloaded Discord just to join my channel. That's so unfortunate. Because I wasn't gonna, like, you know, just ban you and, like, be done with it. Oh, uh, so my plan actually wasn't that accurate. H4 here. Interesting. Why is H4 so good here? Um, why do I, why do I not do this, not do, 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 do. So takes, there. Why not h4 here? h6? b6. Okay, I don't really understand what the engine is on about. Why is h4 so much stronger, even here? h6, bishop f4. Interesting. Hmm. H4 even here is good. But then I go bishop e2 and then h4 is hated. Oh, maybe because queen d2 is just stronger. F6. Bishop h6. Don't do that. B6. 
Uh, I think, yeah, maybe it's just become stronger when you weaken these dark squares. Trading the... Oh, wait, no, this doesn't weaken dark squares. It weakens light squares, but I don't know. Thank you, Hetix. Water. Yes, it's time for water. Water is my favorite drink. Yeah, thanks, Lela. It's okay. I don't... I'm not, like... I'm not gonna... If, I, if you show up again, I'm not gonna, like, bully you. But, yeah. It's okay. There might be some, you know, extenuating circumstances here, but yeah. Farewell, I guess, but you're welcome to come, you know, hang out in the streams and, you know, improve and stuff. You know. Second chances are important, I guess. It's just that it's really hard to relate, I guess, to... <laughs> Whatever the heck you did. Um, uh, since when have you been? Uh, I started playing in November 2020. So right as like Queen's Gambit came out. But that's not the reason I started playing. I started playing because Esam, a Super Smash Brothers pro player who plays Pikachu, who I, I also played Pikachu. He, he, he was playing chess and he was like, I think like 1200 rated or something. I was like, whoa, he's pretty good. And then I just started playing the game and then I just super get into it. And I've had like breaks every now and then, but now I'm like, I'm like 1500 rated, but I think I'm closer to like 1600 in strength, but yeah. That's why I love your streams. Yeah, yeah, who wouldn't? I mean, Queen did too. Yeah, because this allows H6, and then my then I have to just kind of be awkward with my bishop. But I mean, this just weakened the king's side a lot. So there has to be some kind of leverage that you have here in this position. B6, and then you just develop. I get these really strong bishops, I guess. But I mean, we're still up in. No, I mean, we're not. We're not really up in development, actually. Should be seven. Knight g3. Actually, yeah, because then you get the strong bishops, but it's still better for me. H5. Okay, more dark skirt weaknesses. Thanks, just talkfish. Then long castles. Oh, castles. They want. Okay, what does long castles mean? It's not bad either. I'm thinking like long castles and then maybe play c3 at some point. But then you can start. Yeah, okay, then you can start like snib nibbling the pawns. Yeah, and it's not super clear, but let's see what happened, because you didn't play that accurately, clearly, clearly. I won't return. Thank you for letting me know, Balacho. I will play for Remember You. Oh, I love you. If they really loved me, why would they leave and not come back? I st okay, but goodbye, goodbye. I started at around cheating drama, and now I am... That's cool. 1200. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Wait, who did who wanted to play against me? Did somebody want to play against me? Oh, yeah, Top Dolphin, yeah. Uh, are you still here, Top Dolphin? Uh, I'm not, you know... Keep an eye on this. Oh, E5 even here is good. Interesting. I mean, this is just a really weak square. I guess we can try to clamp down on it. With something like this, possibly, at some point. A6. I mean, A3. What the hell? Bishop F4. And we just have a nice space advantage. But okay, I went for the throat. And H... Not H4. Okay, there we go. H4 here. But Queen E2 is better. But that's okay, too. And now E5. Yes, perfect. Great move. Because I close up the center, because here if I just do like a development move, they can take... Oh, they can have to go f6 first, bishop e3. And they can take... Knight takes... And h5, okay. Um, I was thinking this makes a bit more sense. Knight takes, and then this is gonna be weak. Can But you can't take it. Wait, what? Two defenders, three attackers. Oh, but this, then this knight hangs, right? Oh, that's weird. I didn't see that. Knight takes. Bishop takes. And then... Can I just take there? Oh, yeah, and we're just winning. Uh, you need to do a desperado here, because if you take... Wrap up, up a pawn. Oh, that's because this bishop is so strong here. Okay, yeah. So you can't even do, do that. So maybe I shouldn't have been that, that scared. It's completely fine. But e5 is more accurate. Just shuts down all counterplay. And let's see. Yeah, this is, I said inaccurate, but it's already a mistake. Because this nicely blocks this bishop. You can play f6 at some point, but also blocks this bishop. And just gives me some time to shuffle on the king side. Because if you're open, if you're attacking on a flank, you want to close up the center. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to pay attention to your analysis. It is so complex for my brain. My one brain cell is working over time. I mean, it's not like... <laughs> Thank you, but it's not like it's super... I'm kind of just like... Half of my ideas are like I'm just throwing out stuff and trying to 
understand what the engine is telling me. But okay, so what's the winning? I mean, what's the only move here? H6? Yeah, you gotta get rid of this bishop somehow. Even F6 is okay, but H6 is much better. And oh, I would dive in there. And then knight F5. How is it so good? We can go G4 and chase the knight away. And then we can reinforce this pawn. Oh my god, that's so cute. What? Because <laughs> you want to kick me away? I could just go back, which is fine. But if I go in here, I basically force the trade because you don't want to... I mean, you could just play like something like this. But then I bring my queen in and then if you take... Then my queen's going to be joining and this is going to be hanging. Yeah. Uh, bishop takes. Yeah, that's the only... That's the best move. I wonder what... I mean, what, what, do you, what if you just play like... Uh, in offense. Oh, the queen hangs. Oh, oops, 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 oops. Um, I mean, let's just play a move. Okay, no, that. Let's just play a move. Then g4. And I'm just gonna be blasting through, I think. Because I can't take, because then the king defends this square. That's definitely not the most accurate thing. Let's see. This probably, yeah. Destroys all the advantage, because this bishop is just. God, like, because if you, you take it, it just it just fucks up your knight. Because he has no squares. He has no squares at all. You can go there. Let me see. If this happens, there. That loses because knight e5. D takes. And now this pawn is never going away. Oh, and it also, like, prevents you from ever, like, protecting your king. And this is just dead lost because... I'm gonna push my pawns, open up here, and like you have no, this is just a wall between your other pieces and the king. Yeah, king h7 is the only move, and then you can bring the rook, I guess, rook h8, rook g8, yeah. And try to do something, but then h5 and I just crash through. Just completely losing. Uh, but yeah, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll try to be quick. So here... So what was the, what was the idea here? Just go h6 and get rid of my bishop, but you you didn't you didn't do that. And now I clamp down on this weak square that I that you created on move two or three for pushing e6. <laughs> and then h5 is completely epic. I can take with the bishop. Bishop takes, pawn takes, rook here. And then queen d2, and then we just long castle. And it's completely winning. Sorry for <laughs> Okay, Hexit, see ya, see ya for a bit. Uh Sorry if I it's, if it feels like I'm rubbing it in. Oh, bishop h6 is actually good. What would I have played instead? Bishop takes. That's okay too. Yeah, that's completely fine. Bishop h6 is not bad. Rook f7. Then queen d2. But yeah, this is yeah okay. This is a mistake. This is a big mistake. Okay, so this is actually. I mean, technically. It's inaccurate compared to queen d2, so maybe my annotation was correct. Um, so if you take... I take with the knight, and this is gonna be a lose. And you gotta give up the material. I don't even need to take. Uh, you can also defend like this. Then I still... Oh yeah, no, you can't defend like this, of course. There's just no way to defend. Queen takes... I mean, this doesn't really do anything right now. Oh, it just hangs the d4 pawn. Um, okay, so... Going here was just not super productive. You can? Actually, the best move here is to take... Yeah, that's not super great. And knight f3 is the, is the best move. It's almost the only move here. Damn it. Uh, but you can take. And then I can take here. I'm gonna be up in material. Wait, yeah. I'm gonna be up in exchange for a pawn. But then you get some activity. This bishop opens up. You have the central pawns. My bishop is kind of awkward. And you can start actually crushing me on that side. Not crushing, but you can start doing counterplay. Where's the, where's the knight even jump to? I mean, you would never play these moves. B5. It, it's very weird. That's okay. And the knight can go here to this outpost. And then I guess you try to clamp down on the... Weak, weak square and a uh, weak pawn on e6. Um, but yeah, this is this is fine. Queen d2, a3. Queen d2 is like the only move. Uh, not here though. 
because that's weird. Long castles, E4, and A4. Why is this not possible here? Because then bishop takes. Ah! Oh! You don't want to put the knight. You don't want to open up this file. Yeah, it could, oh, this is a cool move because it opens up the file right now and kind of prevents me from long castling. I need to find a weapon against d4. You don't find a weapon. You find a shield against d4. I mean, I guess you can think of it as a weapon on lower levels, but they're called defenses because they're because white is the attacker. It's kind of cool. Like, maybe everybody doesn't hasn't realized, but um, black always plays defenses and white always has attacks. Like, no matter what it is, it's always an attack. Even if it's like a passive move, it's always the, like there's like an English attack or something like that in the... English attack, isn't that in the... King's Indian defense? Like, even if it's like a really passive line, it's called the attack. Just because white is, you know, just intrinsically the one attacking. And the rook d7 here almost like, keeps you in the game, kind of. Then we have to go back. And now e5 is actually possible. It's not that good, not that easy for me to stop it. D takes, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes. We can't take here. Is it pins us? So queen d2. Oh, and then there's long castle. And black's king side is still very weak, but they traded off so many pieces. And now you have activity. So it's not as as crushing anymore. Sorry, we're not playing yet, Dolphin. Uh, okay, so... E2, and then just knight takes, and then it's GG. Yeah, it was just completely over here. Um, so I'm definitely not happy about... Happy completely. Let me see my accuracy. 88, okay, that's pretty good. 69, that's pretty nice. Surely white has openings and black has defenses. Um... I guess, yeah. Yeah, openings, but many of the openings are just called attacks. Don't feel rushed. No, no, it's kind of, I mean, I was really taking my time. <laughs> but yeah, thanks. Uh, okay, uh, give me, shoot me a challenge. 15, 10, please. I think, yeah, because 10, 5, even with against the lower rated player before, was a kind of a hassle. Uh, give me 15, 10, please. If, the, if you have time. 10, 5 is also okay. And unrated, please. 16 and call a Ravampera number. <laughs> I wanted that totally. So you're Croatian. Why are you, Why do you have ties in, ties to Finland? That's really cool, but why are you... We don't like Croatians over here. That was joke. We love Croatians. Very good country. But yeah, um... Sorry if I, if you feel like I was just kind of beating down... Beating down on you, punching down on you. Top Dolphin. American! Oh my god, we've got an American here. Okay, let's play the... Let's play the King's Indian defense. I love Finland. I love Finland too. I would like to play with... I pay with my credit card. Um, what the hell, brother? Uh, that's the Trompowski. Okay, how do I play against the Trompowski? Do I play any differently against Trompowski? What happens against Trompowski? I don't really mind. Wait, what happened? I've never seen a Trompowski, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. You're a thousand rated. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot. You're, like, actually pretty good rated. Well rated. Um, what the hell? I don't think I've ever seen this. Have I ever seen this? I mean, we can just fear and get at the bishop. Close go there. Let me see. What do I do? Oh, he's gonna abort soon. <laughs> you got me, you got me good. You can also just go d5, but I feel like that's kind of weird. Okay, Trompowski attack. Okay, so black- oh, wait, no, that's white. Yeah, that's white attack. Trompowski attack. Okay, this has to be a theory, though. Um, really weird, what the hell, man. And I love rallying, that's why. Is it rallying? Isn't rally driving? I don't think it's rallying. Rallying means like converging to together or something like that. Rallying is like moving forward with a with an agenda. I don't know. Okay, he's thinking. Why is he thinking? Okay. Mm. 
So we're gonna have dark squared weaknesses here. Do we want to develop? I mean, yeah, let's just go here. But it's okay. Yeah, it's a weird structure, but it's okay. We're gonna go take the center right now. 24. I think oh, this is so weird. I don't maybe this is, this is probably a line, but I don't know the ideas in this at all. Okay, let's just let's just castle, I think. <laughs> Rally, okay, you can say it both ways. Okay, yeah, I mean I understood what you said, so I guess you can just by definition say it both ways. But yeah, top dolphin, what the hell is happening here? Damn look at this handsome motherfucker. Mm. Yeah, you grab the center like I expected. I mean, now we can. Yeah, okay, just castle. And I'm thinking d6. And then maybe an f5 push. That would be cool. It's probably some kind of idea. Because now we do have this snake shedding its skin like Naraditsky says when there's two pawns so you can push with the other one and still keep the structure like this and that's some, kind of what happens in the Tartakawa variation of the Karakan you didn't see my PFP with Finnish driver? I don't know it's just uh, it's not a big dude it's not a <laughs> big dude no it's just, just it's just a guy I mean this looks so boring you can't have a profile picture it's just like a like <laughs> this is so cursed. Why? Why? <laughs> Why is this your picture? It looks like an AI generated image. It's so offset. The clothes look like AI, they're AI generated. They don't make any sense. Like, what is this? Is this you? Bro, you went to Finland? That's so cool. Wanna meet up? Next time you come to Finland, meet up. Um, what the heck is this? What the hell is even that? Um, okay, so you prevent me from playing F5 right away. Then we can just... it's fine. You can also put the bishop here. What the hell are you doing? I mean, we can also just put the knight, uh, rook here right now. But you would just defend. Maybe I don't exactly like what I'm. what's happening here. There, there. There. Okay. Uh, this makes sense. It's not a bad move. Oh, I guess you can open up the... I mean, maybe... You, I mean, not necessarily. Uh, that's a passive? Why are you going there? Oh, because you want to play... C3? Love fins. What do you mean, love fins? Oh, we can take this, but is that bad? You open the G file. We do get a free pawn. I mean, it's not the H file. The G file being open is probably okay. Yeah, and then we can play F5 at some point. Developing. What's happening? I'm so confused. I mean, you at least, if you've achieved something, you're totally, completely fucking me up in terms of the opening preparation. Now that was World Championship in Croatia. Oh, okay, okay. There were Finnish people there? That's kind of cringe. Okay, what's this? Just take. Uh, I don't think I want to take. I mean, I don't really. Yeah, you don't even have a dark squared bishop. So, like, what are these weaknesses gonna do? Uh, let me see. Do I just, if I wanted to be rapid with development, I could take. I could also just go back. I feel like this going back here is is pretty logical. If you go there, that's probably okay with me. Because this still prepares this nice push here. Maybe I don't want to push my pawns in front. I mean, yeah, because I want to open up the diagonal for the bishop, so. We go here. Putting it here is just kind of awkward. You can, like, unpin yourself or do anything like this, and then the, like, the bishop is just kind of kind of silly looking. Actually, we should think about opening the center. Uh yeah, definitely that seems like a nice idea. So your king is in the center. Your king is going to castle long, I guess. I guess, no. I mean, it's probably the only option here. So all around the world drivers. All, all around the world drivers. 
Are you saying there's it's not just drivers in Finland? Are there other drivers too? I don't know what I called cringe, but I definitely meant that it was cringe and it made me do this. Because it was cringe, right? I don't know what else you were that what what I was talking about, but it was cringe for sure. Of course it's cringe. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Right, it's not like there's like a crazy attack coming or something. Actually, yeah, I kind of don't want to push this because then this comes. Yeah, but this is okay because then I push. I'm left with this weakness, but I think we can just get rid of it. Hmm, I have no idea what's happening. But I feel like, I, I feel okay. I don't know, am I, am I being dumb for thinking I'm confident here? We have the bishop pair. We just bust up on the center. There, there, there. Okay, that prevents c6. But what does it actually do? We can just kick you away, maybe? Well, then you get this square here. Mm. I'm gonna attack the pawn there. Could do this funny discovered attack. Um... I mean, this funny discovered attack doesn't really maybe work. I mean, it does, yeah, let's just go here. Don't think there's anything crazy here. I'm like, you're just moving the same pieces over and over. You're going to probably defend with, by developing? Yep. Okay, I don't really know what you're doing here. Could go here, target the weak pawn. With tempo. Wow, that's a cool move. Develop the develop 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 the de, 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 de boy. And that's actually defend, so the discover attack doesn't even work. Oh wait, no, it does. The, the pawn is pinned. Oh my god, you're like fucked. We can just attack the pawn right now. How do you even defend it? You can go there. No, you can't. You can go there. Um, I'm seeing so many good moves here. Hmm. You're playing pretty solid. I mean, you're playing really tricky. I don't know if you... No, that's not solid. Solid is a very bad way of uh, describing this. Um, I mean, maybe I don't want to create any light squared weaknesses. Because this allows for that. Yeah. So just keep it like this. I'll, I'll develop them knight and just start putting pressure on the on this pawn here. Because I allow you to push, and that's probably bad. I don't really want that. I mean, open the center is completely fine, but you're gonna get a pawn. Uh, oh wait, no, that. Oh, I would have hung. You can't even push there. Could have lost the pawn. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that's not how you do. That is not how you do it. I think I'm like almost winning here. I can pin this knight. Let me see. Do I do I go here first? And then get the bishop off the board. You can also go here right now. Which wouldn't even be that bad because it doesn't weaken the g5 square drastically. Uh, is this even a threat? I mean, not really because I can just take with the f-pawn. I guess that's kind of annoying if you go there, but... Yeah, like my bishop is kind of buried, but I think it's okay. We can go here. Attacking the pawn. Attacking the bishop. We can go here, I guess. And the queen takes. And yeah, my bishops are going to be crazy wilding. Mm. Yeah. Interesting position. Thank you for the position. Spain, Estonia, France, Japan, Italian, Spain. That's really, that's a nice, that's, I guess, that's a cool spectrum of countries interested in rallying. By the way, I found my weapon for D4. Okay, what is it? I'm not going to start it. I'm just interested. But like, you're 1500. Why are you just now finding for your weapon for D4? Just play the King's Indian. Okay, and now we're, we're starting to kind of squeeze you. Can we go here now? Wait, now we can't go there. 
Let me see. I mean, you're just spinning yourself again. Epic pinning mode. Um, we could double on the file. Let me see. If I go there, then is this possible anymore? No, it's not. Actually, then you can just take. I think. Oh, it's kind of complex. I think I'll just double up on the file. Hmm. Or I could pin this knight. Actually, that looks nice. That looks really nice. That prevents uh, h5 from happening. Pin this knight and prepare f5 in that way. And it also protects d6 with the, with the queen. So I don't think I'm really ready to play this yet. Takes. You get a rook there. Oh, wait. We can just... Oh, we can just win the pawn. I mean, we can just win the piece back, I think. Because it's going to be pinned to the queen. So don't put any bullshit on the... F okay, let me see. So here... If you push... Because uh, the pawn is going to fall otherwise, right? No, it, it's actually not. Actually, no, it's not going to fall. Okay, let me just put the bishop here. Improve the bishop. That's a completely epic, epic square for it. And if you attack it, I can just go back. Yeah, that's completely fine. And this doesn't really look appetizing to me. Hmm. Maybe there was a win there. Maybe I should have calculated a bit more. Hmm. Okay, now you castle. But you're still pinned. And I think now I can go here. I could have probably gone here anyway. But that just looks like a really nice square. Or like a nice move, I mean. Go here. Actually, now the knight can come here, but that's not really a threat. Because we can win this pawn, probably. Oh, wait, no, we can't even win it. We're not, like, attacking it, even. But we do want to do this at some point. Um... And opening the position is just logical with these bishops. There. You take. You can't. So if you just def if you just keep it like that, I'm gonna have three attackers. Hmm. Okay, do I kinda make progress with any other moves here? I guess I could go like swim around here. And try to win this pawn. There are some shenanigans. No, wait, actually. That looks like a decent move. Move the queen here, and then the knight's gonna be pinned. Actually, you can go there, then. Then I just... No. Yeah. You go there, and then it doesn't work. Takes knight. Takes queen. Takes queen. Actually, we win there. Maybe we go here. Also prepares to bring the queen to the king side, uh, the queen side. There's also this strong check here, actually. Yeah, maybe go here. See, so, can you push here? Can you push there? Oh no, can you push? Oh, wait, no, that's not a check. What? How do I think the queen could go there? What am I talking about, dude? <laughs> oh, I'm hallucinating diagonals. But this is, this is going okay, I think. I, maybe I could have pulled the trigger there. I'm, bit, I'm just a bit worried. Oh, this, this check as well. Wait, 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 wait. Could have gone here, and then the bishop is really strong, actually. I mean, let's just keep that in our back pocket, I guess. Hmm... I could also go here, maybe. I mean, this is a nice move because it kind of threatens both sides of the board. I could go here, taking this, and you gotta drop back. Um, and that's it. I mean, we can go G, uh, G5 there. I mean, AB5 there. You can just. Oh, wow. 
Oh, you, you stop the pin. Interesting. Okay, now if this... Let me see. <clears throat> How many attackers are there? There's two attackers. There's just one defender. Let me see. I mean, this pawn technically hangs here. You're playing very tricky. Very, very nice. Takes, rook takes. No. If I take this, can you go anywhere with the knight to make a discovered attack? Not really. I think we just grab the free pawn. We also pin this knight right now. It actually can be a really nice move. We also go here to attack the knight. This is the only move. Then we take. You take, and then we win this pawn. But I mean, that's not really winning. I feel like that's bad. I don't really want to trade my bishop pair just for a free pawn. Is that all? Also, no, no, that's not a threat. Hmm. I guess I could think about this, but then the knight can maybe jump in. Um, takes, takes, there. And then the queen can't really come in. Hmm. Very complex position. Very interesting. I mean, I could just pin the knight. I don't know what you what, what you do. I just pinned both of your knights. You we're gonna step back. Um, what if I go there? Taking this knight, it's pinned. Can go there. Takes, takes, and then I win the rook. If I go here, go there. We just win the knight. There, you block like this. Take the knight, takes there, and you kind of have a big attack. I don't, maybe don't want to do that. You can double your rooks there. Hmm. If I just open up the bishop, which looks natural. I have five minutes left. This is nice. Um, I think I'll just... I'll just pin the knight. I don't know what you're really planning here. <laughs> Look at these fellas. I mean, they're so powerful. Look, there's so much meat on the file, on the, on the lines that they're attacking. You know, because the uh, bishops that are just looking at nothing don't really do much. I mean, they, they might be very really active square, active, active bishops seeing a lot of squares, but this is just madness. I've never had this much material, this much material skewered through my through my bishops. Okay, yeah, he he, fell, he stepped back, and if I go here now, does this work? You go there. It's the same situation, pretty much. And we can win this pawn. Hmm. Should I go here now? Two attack three attackers on the pawn. And I guess you can take... What if I take here? Rook takes. Hmm, how do I how do I get through, man? Maybe I can double my rooks on this file and then try to push for the F F thing. You can always just whenever trade and no well that doesn't really work. Because so my king is kind of being under attack here. Maybe I can just start pushing here. Because I mean you're totally paralyzed there. I don't know what you have. I mean this this knight can move, but where? Nowhere. There, I guess. Maybe I'll just start pushing the A-pawn. <laughs> oh, this still hangs. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was looking at last time. Takes. 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 Yeah, takes. You can move this knight now. But nowhere. I think I'll just take the free pawn. This is well defended. Very well defended. I hope I don't mm, fuck up here. It's okay. If I get the rook in there, like, Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, I think we cash in now. Oh, we're up two pawns, actually. Wait, when did we win the other pawn? Where did I win a pawn? Where did I win a pawn? Oh, yeah, the gambit, the, the G pawn at the, in the beginning. Uh, nice, nice going with the G file. Oh, this is really intense. I like it. I like it very much. Um, 
Mm. I'm like, now our knight is as a god. I mean, actually, uh, certify, yeah, certify him as a god with uh, a five. But that does create weaknesses. I've been, I'm not really in a hurry to push a five in, uh, in any way. Okay, there we go. Oh, you just lost the queen. Oh, you should have looked harder, I think. Because this is a check. I mean, you do get... Oh, okay. You do, you would have gotten a piece and a rook for the queen, which is not completely horrible, but it's, it's still horrible because you just pinned. Okay, good game. That was really interesting. Thank you. Thank you for the game. That was really fun. That was really fun. That was a really cool game. Wow. I'm happy. Why am I? Why, why do I like chess so much? Am I a fucking nerd? Am I a nerd? Why do I like chess? But hey, good game, Dolphin. Are you here? I don't think you were in the chat during the game, so I appreciate that. Uh, let's look at the game review. Well played. Pro GG's. Good game. Good game. Uh, yeah, well played. That was definitely very, very tricky. Okay, I played really well. I mean, okay, yeah. Uh, let's go. Let's go back. 85% accuracy in a really weird position is, is, is pretty nice. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so I have no idea about the theory. Let's just open up the Explorer here. But yeah. No, I muted. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dolphin. Oh my god. You're one of the, you're one of the good ones. Um... Also, I appreciate Yust for not saying anything during that game. During that game. I guess, yeah, because I would have just yelled at you. I'm sorry, Yust. I feel like I yell at, too, yell at you too much because you're a good guy. Okay, so here, uh, let me see. G6 is, is a move, but now you if Oh, I think I've seen this before. And how does it continue? C5? <laughs> what is this, bro? What? Okay, E6. Okay, yeah, I was thinking, that was the first idea. I mean, that, I guess, no, this was the first thing that came to mind. But then, when I started thinking about more of this, because then you can't ruin the structure anymore. Then I kind of pin myself, and I haven't really played any of these Indian games. Indian, G, Indian E6 things, like Nim Nimzo Indian and stuff like that. This might actually transpose to a Nimzo, I don't know. Honestly, I forgot how to play the Trump. Trumposki, that's not how you spell it. Trumpowski. <laughs> uh, that's what happened when... When Biden won against Trump in the elections. Uh, but I hate playing against the King's Indian. Uh, yeah, yeah, the King's Indian is, is, is... I mean, I don't really know it. It's like one of the openings that I play. But I know the... Uh, the ratio of playing it versus knowing it is very high for me. Uh, so this is weird. It's still a game. Bishop G7 here, yeah. And then castles, yeah. And there's no games here. Yeah, I felt like this was probably pretty bad. So, I mean, what are you doing here? I mean, I thought this was like a line where you gambit this pawn. But then you just never did anything with the line. I don't know what this was. Like, here, you have a good position. Just develop the knight. Like, do anything. Because I have the imbalance of the e-file being open. So you might want to drop the knight and maybe even play f3 here, possibly, to strengthen this also you might want to go for like attack but then i mean no you don't really want to open up the position because you have more space yeah okay i'm gonna just grab the pawn and i go back i feel like this was yeah because you didn't hear me talking talking during the game so i thought here it's okay i don't really want to go here i guess this i could pin the knight and stuff but that's a bit awkward i feel like going here was a bit more flexible actually here you could have maybe Gone there, but that's okay. I don't really mind the pre tension because then I can rectify my pawns. Um, maybe this wasn't too great. I mean, I felt like this was pretty bad, but this is a really good move that you played. Uh, because then it attacks here, and I was gonna go c6 at some point, but you just con completely prevented it from happening. So that's really cool. Maybe maybe D, uh, bishop d6 isn't that great. I mean, you have opened up this diagonal for me, so there was always a threat of me opening it. Actually, kind of funny that I never did. No, I just dropped the pawn one move, and I'm not supposed to develop king f3 so early because I ended up mining myself so hard, pinning myself so hard. Uh, you mean knight f3, right? K is for king, but yeah, n, n is for knight. But yeah, I understand. Um, yeah, maybe it's better to just go here and totally like no, but didn't you just unpin yourself? And it's it's fine. So I mean, the pin isn't really what killed you. And there's there's counter chances on this file if you can just push the h file, uh, the h pawn at some point. Um, it's not like it's horrible. I think. Oh, it's kind of horrible. Um, okay. So yeah, I I actually thought this was like good for you still, or not good, but like okay, this is a good move. I like this. Because it's easy. I've done this too many times where I just drop this pawn. But let me actually see. 
Does it even work? I think it does because you can take here. Let me see. Yeah. Oh wait, no, it doesn't. What? Wait, it's just only totally losing already. What the hell? C6? Why can't you go here? Queen E2? I guess we just get such a big devil. Oh, it, it, it's, a, it's a fork. Oh yeah, okay. And then this hangs. Oh my god, it's completely losing. Oh no, it doesn't hang, but it's completely losing. What the fuck? I didn't realize at all that I was so, doing so well here. Because, I mean, visually it just looks like, you know, you have the open B file. My bishop is buried. This one is kind of buried. It's okay, though. And then I went for this idea, putting pressure on the weak pawn here. Mm, I should have just played the London like I usually do. Yeah, I mean, it's okay if you, you know, try out different stuff. Don't regret too much that you played like a weird opening, but I, I know the feeling. So here I can, I could have forced the bishop trade, but I just don't feel like it makes any sense to trade this really nice knight for this bishop. If you ever go like something like b4, then I can just do it. Um, I guess that's a, no, that's a good move, yeah. Then I pin it later. I don't know why I went for it now. Because this it was still a pin here, but yeah, because you can stop it, but now you can't stop it. So I, it just looked. I didn't consciously make that decision or make that uh, sense the difference, but because now you can't you can't unpin it yourself, so it just looks a bit, a bit more appealing. And then I can drop back because this is just a really strong bishop. And look at this. I was I was hollering at the fact or like at the number of a <laughs> number of pieces my uh, bishops were skewering. Like, I've never had a bishop pair, you know, pinning this much material. I mean, it's not like technically a pin, like all of this isn't a pin. I mean, wait, it's all, it's all a pin, yeah. You can't move, you can't move. So, but you know, because the, the more material or like the more pieces there are in the way of bishops, the stronger they usually are. Mm. I enjoy playing against higher other players. Random shit like this works at my elo, but you punish me. Thank you. Uh, I've been trying to, you know, punish stuff. There's like, maybe a couple of weeks ago, I, it was possible that I like fuck up and like I trade everything and then you get really big active play here. But I just played really pa patiently here and I didn't care about my bishop being buried because there's so much potential in this, in this push because this is weak and I can potentially do something like that. But yeah, thank you. And I mean, you played, I mean, it's not like you played horrible. I, I never thought like, oh my God, look at this dude. Which is kind of silly, I guess, the way you played. And here I, I could have gone for, I feel like, because this is just the free pawn, I think. But I feel like I first, first just paralyzing you even more uh, seemed like a bit nicer, because you can't actually do anything. Yeah, I was expecting this, but then I can just take the free pawn. I mean, I almost didn't see the free pawn, but then, yeah, it just blunder. Would have been interesting to keep going with the game. Um... Because there's still a chest to play. Actually, I can take there and then this knight's gonna hang. So I'm, I think this is just completely losing, yeah. Uh, I mean, oh, you can take, but then that's pinned. And everything's just pinned, oh my god. King a1, oh my god, that's the best move. Chip takes e3. Pawn takes. And then I can probably go like here. Queen h3 is, is winning. Rook a8 is even stronger. And the pawn just falls, you can't defend it. And then I attack the knight, which is pinned as well. And you, I mean, you're just completely tied up. Damn, this is this is horrible. I don't even need to do anything anything crazy. And like the pawn is pinned, and the knight is pinned. Okay, yeah, I guess this is really bad. This is really really bad. But yeah, uh, used we can play another game after this. Yeah. No, it's all pinned. I was yelling at your bishops. I wanted them gone. My knights aren't even pieces in this game. There's just walls between my pieces and your bishops. <laughs> uh, I guess yeah. I mean, the first knight was kind of tricky. Okay, let's see. So I'm actually, this is already bad. I mean, I already equalized apparently. Because you give me the bishop pair. Okay, so this is fine. Castle is okay. And d5, I was considering d5. Oh, this is just already losing. Oh, that sucks. Um, I guess I go here first. Wait, rookie a check. Here. And the bishop g. Oh, and the bishop is pinned and the knight hangs. And then this pawn hangs, and it's just completely losing right from the opening. I gave you, I respected you too much. I went for the chill e6, which is actually very meek. Uh, I was thinking rookie 8 here first, uh, but then I, I... I mean, I was kind of on the fence about these two moves. Damn, rookie 8 is so much stronger. You just drop the pawn? What? Mm, 
if you defend it. I mean, I just thought this move. And then d5. And... And I guess, yeah, there's just too much stuff hanging. d5 is just so strong. Don't take there. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, that's kind of upsetting, actually, that... Now that I look at it, it's completely winning. I mean, this is still good. And then you just... Oh, yeah, you just hang the pawn, okay. I mean, there's an alternative, you know, reality where I... Uh, I get scared by this and then I don't grab the pawn. But, I mean, maybe it was only the fact that the G-file is so well protected. And even this pawn is here. That I didn't really... I wasn't really worried about any, any shenanigans there. Trade five, bishop six. They're both really good. Nice, nice. But the other moves are not quite as strong. I mean, bishop d seven still works. And uh, then this is just weird. So you open up the diagonal. Uh, it's probably better because this bishop is gonna wake up eventually uh, to just prepare like a c three push. That's what I was thinking. Like this is probably your idea. You have the center. You have you have you know knights ready to jump in and stuff like that. I'm mean, not really. This knight is really jumping anywhere because of this pawn. Is this even good? Yeah, that's not even a good move. Nobody plays that move. Knight f3, yeah, some people have played it. But there's a reason it's so low, because the knight can't jump anywhere because of this this pawn. And I'm not actually forced to push it. That's why I was so, you know, not into pushing it, because it, you know, relinquishes some of these moves, or some of these squares. Um, so I really like my patience there. Yeah, d5, okay, let me just look at d5 a bit more, because it's really hard to... See if they just take. Oh yeah, we can check. I mean, we can also just take the free pawn, and then this is hanging. This is gonna be weak. Um, everything's just horrible. Yeah, you just pin it. Yeah, you just open up this. I mean, yeah, this just opens up the center. Oh yeah, because I'm castled. That should be the sign. Of course, open up the center. Even like if you sacrifice a pawn, just open up the center. Your castled opponent is far from castling. Yeah, yeah, of course. And they can't even castle kingside after this move. Yeah, it's so simple now. And not simple, but it's so more, so much more like you know, natural. D seven and rook e eight here. Yeah, attack the weak pawn. And you were supposed to go bishop e two even. What? Why do you want to do this? King f1. King f1? Oh my god, it's horrible. And f5 here. Yeah, because it's hanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't I, why did I not play f5? Okay. Knight a6 is still very good, but f5 is like completely crushing. I thought you, play, you push here. Um, D takes. Knight c takes. Oh yeah, because I mean, we can just take. And then we can... Oh, it's just hanging, yeah, because I, I just didn't count the defenders well enough. There's three def- okay, yeah, cool. Uh, that was just a miscalculation. I don't know why I- I was just really scared, I guess, for no reason. I gave you too much respect for playing this, okay. Uh, Bishop g4 is completely fine. f5 here. And best thing is just sacrificing the exchange. Hmm. Bishop h5 is completely fine as well. f5, I just felt like... Because now there's a pawn here, so the knight can actually jump in here. So I just didn't feel like giving you any any counterplay here. So I just drop back. Keep my structure intact, because the picture can always come here. f5 is just completely crushing here. e5, and we just take it. Yum, 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 yum. Are you going to take there? And take, yeah, I just have to sacrifice a lot of material, I guess. Because we're also threatening to... Oh, we're threatening this! Ah! But I would just... Yeah, because you can't take. There's just way too many attackers. Yeah, it's just completely crushing. I will play a real opening that I know next time. It makes sense to be scared because it's so bad. It's unfamiliar. Yeah, yeah, I guess. It's, it's better to just play chill than, you know, go for the throat. And be over, overconfident. And here you can just take. Yeah, okay, that's the best move. Uh, here I could have also just taken, but I felt like just you know restricting you even more. Just I don't know. 
I should probably look at Garpov's games because he's called the Boa Constrictor, and I I would really like that's like what I look up to in chess. It's like a player who's super patient and just like doesn't play the best moves, doesn't play the flashiest moves, but like just makes makes the opponent miserable. Like position stuff. But that was cool. Thanks for the game. Uh, damn, I definitely I thought this was still fine. Okay, I here I was like, okay, well I, I'm pretty comfortable now. Definitely wasn't thinking it's like plus. 2.5 here yeah i was missing some things there but as long as i play you know i was never in trouble so that's the main problem i mean that's the main yeah it's it's pretty bad to be minus four. Oh wait no that's just the feedback yeah minus two on, on move six but yeah let's play again sometime uh just do you want to go for another one uh actually i don't have much time anymore oh wait no i gotta eat okay yeah let me <clears throat> I don't have enough time anymore to play because I need to go to the gym in like because I need to eat now. Well, that's okay. I think there's people watching, and you know, if you use this here, yeah. Uh, give me a moment. Oh, never mind. No, no, no. I think we can go because I want to play. I want to play one more time because I want to know it's not a fluke because I've been kind of struggling against you, but now I've been uh, you've been struggling against me, so I just want to keep the track record going. Uh, let me grab a meat patty. Wait, what's that? No, a meat pastry. Uh, no, that's a, uh, um, yes, it's called a meat pie, I guess, meat pie, yeah, let me just grab a meat pie to eat, because I need to bulk up, I need to get my carbs up before I go to the gym. Oh, wait, what? I don't need to eat a meat pie. I can just... Wait, what is meat pie? Is it a meat pie? No, not like a meat pie, like an actual pie with meat in it. Yeah, not like a meat pie. Oh my god, don't... <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna Google any more pies, because I don't want to accidentally Google a pie on the stream. And it's like not one of the... It's like an unsavory pie. Um, But let me say, liha piirakka. This is a... Oh, that's the exact product that I have. This meat pie. Shit, pirog. And you can put like wieners in there. You can put your wiener in there, and then so uh, then a mustard and ketchup, and then pickled uh, cucumber. But yeah, uh, let's play a game. I'm not. I'm heating up food in the microwave. Um, I'll eat that while like quickly. I guess we can. Um, is there any? Is there anything to watch? Isn't there like a game thing happening live on Chess TV? Chess bra. Wait, what? I thought there was like a tournament going or something. Um. I guess. Uh. Yeah, it's fine. Uh. Let's send me another request. I'll just. I guess eat at the same time while I play. That's okay. Maybe I'll just cut it out of the. Out of the vod. But I mean, I'd rather because there's people here. There's you know you want to play me. So why not just keep it going even though this is probably not gonna go to the vote because that would be disgusting <laughs> uh yeah but can you give me time in this yeah you can give me time nice thanks for making it unrated um because i might have to slow myself down okay you just learned an opening except w blacky you could have just gone black if you wanted to that's fine this is not so serious not so serious. I don't know what Joker says. I okay. Do your thing, brother. So what music is playing? Um. Oh, Karo Khan. I mean, I could just, I could just go for the Jobaba. Let me try to transpose the Jobaba. I think it's not quite, but it, it makes sense. I think because I don't want to go for the fantasy. I don't know the fantasy. Yeah, because this is not the real Karo Khan, because I don't play E4. You try to transpose to it, though. What is this now? I don't know what this is. It's kind of like the Joe Baba, but you haven't played Knight of Six. Hmm. 
Da, 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 da. But yeah, thanks again, Top Dolphin, for the game. That was a really interesting, instructive game as well. Because sometimes, like, okay, yeah, so we just go for the Jobava. Yes, brother, yes, this is the Jobava. I love it, dude. Uh, where do I go first, though? We just go for the Jobava. Oh my god, this is your weapon. Is this, is, this, is this your weapon? Just go for my main opening. I mean, it's a C6 line. But I think it's okay. E3 here. Level up the knight. I think E3. I guess people, sometimes streamers add delay to their stream so they can be stream sniped. And when I think of that, I just think of Fortnite, because that's what uh, Ninja had to do, so people couldn't queue up with him. Um, okay, do I go A3 here? Do I even care? I, maybe, maybe, maybe I don't even care if you... Pin my knight, I think. Go there. Then you go here, you go there, and then you cast. So I think that's how it goes, yeah. If there's a line with A3, I mean, uh, yeah, A3 to stop... The bishop can come in here, but that's completely fine, I think. Because we can't, we, uh, in this line, where I think we play c6, we have time to castle out of it. And we can actually sacrifice a pawn. Okay, you go there instead. Um, yeah, this is a really passive, passive thing for black. Uh, let me see. I think this just makes a lot of sense. Just castle. At least you're playing solid. What am I eating even? Top Dolphin. <laughs> yeah, it was good, not gonna lie. I get very nervous when my opponent is more than 100 plus Eli above me. Yeah, I get that for sure. That happens to me as well. Also, I'm really sorry, guys. I'm just gonna apologize. Sorry for eating alive. But this is not... This is bonus stream. This is not... I'm not... This is not... I'm not responsible for what happens within the next 30 minutes. Um, yeah, I get that too. Yeah, don't worry. Um, maybe we can dispel that um, fear if we just play more. Okay. Wow, really passive. You don't even pin the knight? That's like a line here. Um, okay, so I think I might want to go here because then this is stopped by that. If we take, we can take here. That doesn't really make sense. Um, can I castle long or castle? Just castle like this. You're playing really solid, but very passive. Extremely passive. Yeah, you can't go here either because that hangs. Um, actually, we can go for e4. I think we want to go for e4 here. Hmm. I mean, it works right now. Do I castle before e4, though? Yeah. Um, do I want to... Do I want to exchange? I think I do. Yeah, opening up the center makes a lot of sense when I'm up in development. I'm not up in development. I have more space. e4. It could be a mistake. No, why could it be a mistake? If you can't see why it would be a mistake, it's not a mistake. Uh, this also doesn't make sense, moving the same piece twice. Mm. Do I castle? Do I... Bro, why is your bishop so lame? I mean, let's just castle, and then go for e4. You can put the rook on e1? Yeah. Oh no! You can go... You could have gone there. Well, maybe then we just go here. I don't really know. Okay, that looks slow. Okay, now I can go here, I think. If you go there, we can just not, uh, drop back, potentially. Takes, takes. I don't think I'm hanging anything there. Everything's defended. Should I put the rook there? Because uh, you have this move. And that just like gets rid of my bishop pair. 
That's really annoying. I don't want that allowed that. I could play H3 or does E4 also disallow that? Cause, I mean, you can do that and then I go here. Mm, I mean, why not just go H3? Just play, just play. Hmm. I mean, that does attack the really weak pawn over there. Um. Yeah, maybe just improve. Because you're not going to push E4. That's impossible, yeah. Just go here. Uh, make it so I can hide in this hole. And also disallow uh, Knight G4 forever. But yeah, I'm eating like weird, weird vegetable patties. Because I went to the student restaurant and got the meat option uh, to eat there. Okay. And then... They had no more of that, so I had to take the vegetable option to go, because I usually take two two meals and then eat the second one later uh, uh, throughout the day. Mm -hmm. I think I still push E4. Yeah. Because this is not... I mean, I can't... Because oh. mm, um, the bishop doesn't see it, so it's still possible. I think, yeah. Mm, let me find the theory in advance, so... I'm sorry, doing the dumbest thing a gamer could do. I'm drinking milk. My gamer setup. Gamer gear. Not good. But I've never once spilled my... Actually, I've spilled my milk once. That was my bad. I mean, it would always be my bad, of course, if I spill my milk on my keyboard. But that was on my keyboard. That was on the, on the floor, under my PC and stuff like that. That was horrible. Because, you know, if you don't clean up the milk properly, it's going to start smelling. Um, but yeah, when in this apartment, I haven't ever spilled my milk. Because I avoid it. I avoid it at all costs. I put my milk on the very edge of the edge of the table, which sounds like a bad idea, but I'm never going to do like any rapid hand movements that might, might fling it uh, on the floor or, you know, the keyboard. Centralize the night. Also, I'm realizing I can't eat while I'm being watched. Eating has just become really difficult all of a sudden. Mm, okay, your bishop is strong. He's a strong boy. We might just uh, solidify it like this. Oh, wait. Uh, so we could take here. Hmm. Actually, it's starting to kind of not like this anymore. What if you say we enjoy watching you eat? Does that make it easier? No, that makes me very uneasy, actually. That makes me question your status as a human being. Um, actually, I, do I like this? I think it's okay. There's no, like, discoveries, right? I mean, always just sort of uh, fortify the... Is this possible? Oh, wait, no. If I go here, you take, and then you fork me. Fork. No, we can take, and then this hangs, I think. Oh, wait, no. Do I need to take here? Oh, fuck. This is one of the positions. This is the type of position that I hate. I'm like, I have more space and stuff, and then it just collapses. Mm. 
There's a lot of captures here. I'm thinking, should I just go here? Because night is hanging. Don't forget the night is hanging. Mm. I'm going to go here. I'm going to take here. I'm going to go here. You go there. Okay, I'm going to take the rook, so that's fine. Um... Actually, it's probably fine. But if you take, I take. Go for this. Oh. Take and then the pawn protects. I can't go. I can't defend this with this. Hmm. Do I just take? Oh my god, what the hell? Um, there, you take this pawn. Okay, then I can drop my bishop over there. That's kind of really annoying for you. At least it's not bad, I think. Yeah. Uh, what if I just take? What if I just take? You haven't castled even. Bro, just castle, bitch. This hangs the knight. Jesus, man, why is it so bad? Why am I stunlocked by this? It's okay, I have time. I have to go to the gym within the next 30 minutes, though. I could just get rid of this knight. I feel like that's usually what the engine wants me to do in these kind of positions. Takes. Retake with the knight, I think. I can take... There's actually this check. I can really block it. That's really annoying, actually. I'll just take. Because I don't really like what happens after this. It's a bit complex. Let's take. Because this queen and I just defended by the queen. Hmm. Brother. I'm the fan. I might actually be losing material here. Just takes. There. Well, then you can't. Oh, you can't take. Hmm. Then you do attack here. Fuck. I can defend it technically, but then you can take there, and then it hangs. We can attack that. I mean, we do have some dynamicism there. What if I just push? Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Actually, we're even in material. Takes. I hate to relinquish my central pawn, but takes. Then he can drop back. I can actually trade the bishop off. I mean, trade the pawn off. He can do that too. Oh, which is kind of ass. Now I can check him. I don't know. I don't know. It became very tactical, very sharply. We could also nab two bishops for the rook, if he takes there. No, we can't. If this looks really bad, right? You gotta drop back. And then the knight is really under pressure. It's almost like this previous situation. Then we get our bishop here. Well... 
And you can't really castle there. <laughs> He's gonna just take. But then he goes and he can't recreate another threat, right? And then I take. I'm gonna be up a pawn here, right? Everything's on a light square. That's kind of uh, uh, cool, actually. These are the only dark squared brothers. Okay. Yeah. Now you have an isolated pawn there, and we can just block your bishop like this. Hmm. This is music. That's cool. It's from Valley original song. What takes Valley? Is that a game? Valley benchmark is that, that that is that what they're talking about? I think I just go here. That's very, very logical. Does he have any cool plans here? Yeah, I'm okay with that. And our old bishop c two plan with the queen battery rears its beautiful head. Hmm. Now you decide to castle, brother. Are you sure you want to castle here? Brother, I think you might be losing already. Brother, we can go bishop c2, queen d3. How do you stop the attack? You can stop attack by pushing g3. That is seriously weakening though. Oh, brother. I think I'm doing okay here. But is that the best idea here? I feel like, yeah. How does he stop it? Put the bishop there. Let me see. Oh, we gotta start playing a bit faster. Then we do this, and then the bishop is not doing anything. What other active pieces, brother? Oh, yeah, then we gotta make sure we don't drop this. Let this happen. That's not the end of the world, but that's horrible. You know? No. Yeah. Just wanna trade queens? Let me see. Okay, we can jump in here now. Um, I mean, that's nice. Right? What's this knight doing? <laughs> what the dog doing? Oh, I'm gonna maybe go here. Well, that's not exactly epic, is it? Let's start playing a bit faster. I mean, yeah. I don't want to go there now. Maybe hop into the center with the knight. And then the knight that can't go here. Can't go there though. Such so straight queens. I saw this first. But why would I give up my bishop pair? My precious bishop pair. I could also go here and attack. Oh no, I can't. Let's go here. Hmm. Defend. I think the queen, I mean, the knight is happy there. Might be a blunder, but I, I don't see why. This bishop is undefended. But I want to give all the, I want to, you know, because if you just give it like this, you can take, and then you can capture all. What? Okay, has anything changed over here? Well, now this is a possible square. But I think we just do this. Very logical. 
I think you're kind of running out of stuff to play. What are you doing, dude? I'm kind of playing one more threats. Uh huh. Mmm. You disallow this. Hmm. We could pin this mofo. Like, your bishop is. Like I just said. Active bishop. Seeing lots of squares. But there's nothing on those fucking squares. You're just a little doofus. They could pin you. And start putting pressure on you, possibly. Um. Yeah. Oh, we gotta start playing a bit faster. This does make my knight weaker, weaker here. It's okay, he's still fine. Bishop pair would be lovely here. Because this bishop can't really do anything. You gotta start moving your rooks in. And this weak pawn, I guess I gotta start looking at him. There are some ideas like this, trying to attack it. Because even here I could have... You know, plan for this move, this kind of move uh, much earlier. I'm running out of time though. Thinking too hard. Hmm. I think it might be because it's unrated, right? Because when the game is unrated, I don't take it so seriously. So I'd rather focus on good chess than winning chess, right? Also, don't go here now. Well, actually, it's probably okay still, but don't do that. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it's not. Actually, no, it's, it is. It is. But it's, no, don't, don't do that still. But yeah. It looks like it hangs the bit knight, but I, thought, I don't think it does. Actually, we could also do this. No, that doesn't work. Let me see, actually. What if there, there's stuff like this? Actually, I could have gone here with the... Oh my god, I'm spitting. I could have gone here with the with the with the queen. Threaten this, and you would have actually had to do something like this. That's really weakening. Oh no! Now I'm gonna tie my two self together. I'm tied my hands. Actually, yeah. Why would I even want that? Why do I? Why did I? Because this this oh I don't get it. I don't get the oh it's two. You get two bishops for a knight, which is really bad. Why would I do that? Because I I saw this, but then I just like oh yeah pin. But that's bad. He's just gonna take. What am I thinking? That's annoying. Also, this Shrek pace isn't very good. <laughs> What's your answer there? I mean, we have to just take this here. And I guess we can get our queen in there. Work this and this fella. We can defend them both, though. Mm. Yeah, of course. I just didn't realize that I gave up two pieces for, for a rook. Hmm. <laughs> Why did I do this? Why am I stupid? Why am I idiot? It's okay though, we get activity. Right? Queen in center? I didn't calculate this, I, this wasn't on purpose, I just blundered. Yeah. Yo, trap me! Bitch! Bitch balls. We gotta go here, bro. Win the bishop. Okay. This is still a checkmate. Don't do that. Brother. Oh, brother. This look bad. Do I really gotta go here? Oh, that sucks. That's garbage balls. Why did I blunder, dude? Um, can't do anything. I'm gonna go here, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. I mean, I could also here. That's not exactly my definition of a good time, though. Brother, brother, bl just play a move. It's, I think it's okay. Oh no. No, brother. I just, I don't know, I just was like, pin, hooray. But of course the bishop was undefended. Like I, like I said before, I could have just avoided that if I just defended the bishop. Why have my jump? Thank you everybody for watching me blunder. Because this doesn't work, right? I'm gonna take. And I take. And I get a nice central rook, actually. Hmm. How do you defend that? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, dude. You go that line and then I... Do I just lose my pawn here? Damn it, dude. Um... He takes there. Because there's always this move. Mm, there, there. I mean, I could also think about there, there. You take. Okay. There, I take the queen. You have to recapture. Then I take the uh, bishop. And you can go here. Defend, attack, attack. I go here, and then, I think then I might be fine. I might be fine. Because it's two, you, your two pieces against my two rooks. Or maybe I can go there. Oh wait, no, I, I, I'll just go here. And there's no discoveries, right? Every capture that you have, I can, I can capture you back. What's happening? What is the soundtrack? Valley? Interesting, let's go Subnautica. But yeah, let's try to wrap it up soon. Um, oh, I'm still okay. Let me look at what my gym ventures today even entail. No, I look at that. I look at that afterward. Because I'm doing um, I'm doing Jeff Nippert's pure bodybuilding course, <laughs> and there's <coughs> there's basically like there's pull uh, there's pull days, push days, leg days, and arm days. Arm slash weak point. And now it's leg day, and there's two versions, at least for now, there's been two versions of each kind of day. So first it's like mid-back fo mid mid focused uh, back uh, pull day, and then it's lat focused pull day, and it just cycles like that. So today, I think today I need to do, wait, no front squats, cool. Today is leg press, I guess. That's fine, leg press is cool. Because there's so much resting between, you can you can watch YouTube videos. That's why I go to the gym, because it's you can watch YouTube videos with a good excuse. No, what? 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 Oh! I didn't even look at that move, brother. I mean, I can just not take, right? Do I take? Can I take? Let me just even the material again. I think that's okay. Why did you go for that? Wait, wait, wait. Do you have to... Because otherwise you... Then you craft... Yeah, yeah, I need to do this. Otherwise you capture my... Knight. What the hell was that move? Bro! Bro, you thinking for... Three and a half minutes for this garbage? What are you doing? Oh, that's so good. No, what am I talking about? It's not garbage, it's very good. Because then the rook falls. Wow, that's so good, that's so smart. Right? Just down a... I'm just down a... Wow. I'm just down an exchange. Oh, wait, no, what am I down? Jesus Christ, yeah, that's just horrible. 
Nice. What nice tactic? What the fuck? I didn't even think about that. That is so cool. Uh, let me see. I mean, I need to. I need to. Yeah, this is the only move. And I'm just. I'm just a downer rook. Are you serious? That is such a cute move. Wow. I did use my time very, very badly there, but wow. Good game. Let me see. Jesus Christ. Well played, you used. I did, I did fuck up my time completely. I, I was just pondering. Oh, yeah, because... Oh. Yeah, I knew there was probably something better. Oh, this just wins a piece. No, it doesn't. But it gets my bishop here, and it's really nice. I was thinking for so long, I couldn't find it. I thought about it, like, for three and a half minutes. But yeah, good game. Just, um, I just, like, I'm really impressed that you found the thing. Let me just see. Okay, let's just, because I need to be fast here. Um, but yeah, I used my time. We need to do rated games, because I, whenever it's not a rated game, I think I subconsciously think that the outcome doesn't matter that much. So I try to play super accurate chess instead of playing good chess, or like playing, like, winning chess. Uh, so I ended up using my time because I there's no not that big of a incentive to keep it right because I'd rather play good moves. Uh, there's this I didn't even consider this move checks capture attacks and this is just even taking here is fine and this is a mistake it should be five. I mean this was my idea but then I thought oh yeah I just fell apart. I didn't focus because I I knew this move was gonna happen possibly maybe after this. Um, here? Yeah, then I would have played bishop b5, yeah. But then I just didn't consider it in this position. Oh, that sucks. Because here it's just completely crushing, because it... You can't really do anything. Because you can't castle. Queen c8. Oh, and then I have this move. You probably take it. Because it's pinned. And you can't castle because it's, it's attacked like crazy. Yeah, I played a really good game, then I just blundered. Damn it. And this is just in in inaccurate. Let me just get rid of the freaking annotations. There you go. And here. It's still okay. Trip C2 isn't bad, but the rookie one was... I mean, yeah, I was considering this move as well, but I didn't know how important it would be right now. Because you may be trying to put the knight up there or something. Let me go there. Oh, it doesn't hate engine doesn't hate this, but queen e2 is, is, is more liked. I guess you're gonna try to kick away then uh, queen from the open file, possibly. And yeah, this didn't really impress me because here I was like, Yeah, look at this bishop, it's not doing anything. I don't even know if my idea at the end even worked. Yeah, I didn't, I wasn't even looking at it at first. I was like, What the fuck? This is garbage. Oh, this just loses, but I mean, uh, this is just a blunder. I, I just saw it was a blunder. Uh, not because of the tactic. I just thought it was it was really and because I, I I just I just blundered. I I don't know why. I mean I had, I was low on time already, so I blamed that. But that was just because my bad time management it here. Like I was just thinking too hard for no reason. Uh, so here, I I saw this and I was like, oh yeah, I can just pin it. But of course, even if you take and I take, uh yeah, like even if this like it's just horrible. This is horrible. Because I, I just give up uh, my two bishops, my, my best two pieces for your freaking rook in the corner. Like, I just didn't realize that that's the, the thing that happens. Uh, so it's just completely losing already here. But yeah, that was a really nice tactic that you found. Like, that's such a weird one. It's just, I just lose a rook. I'm just a rook down. That's so, let me try to wrap my head around, because that's so... Yeah, freaking magician, dude. Um... But yeah, I mean, just it's already lost at this point because I, I just what the fuck and this mate here. I didn't even look at that that, that there was the mate here, but mm. so annoying that I just let this. I just I, I don't know. I just like oh yeah, pin hooray. But of course, two pieces for a rook is, is really bad here. Really, really, really fucking bad. So here I should have just gone. I mean, back like anywhere. Bishop H two, Bishop G three. Yeah, just on here. Like I have a really good position. The bishops are much better than yours. And I have a really nice knight in the center. Mm, 
I have control of the files. Yeah, damn it, dude. I, that sucks, man. It's my worst move of the whole day. Mm, but I'm pretty sure it works unless there was some high IQ move. I didn't see if I put my bishop there so he can't kick my knight with pawn. Can't kick my knight with pawn. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, I did notice that. But it's not like that's necessary. Because if I do, if you induce this move, let me see. You just go, I mean, you can't go here right now. Oh, yeah, this point. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you just go here right now, that's okay as well. I think. Because I don't want to play this. Because it weakens. I mean, I mean, first of all, it does that. But let me see. Um, if you go here, I fall back. Just do a nonsense move. I'm not going to play this. Yeah, it's just better for you. Because I induce massive weaknesses in the long diagonal. Like, I I saw this, but I don't want this to happen. Because I created this formation just in order to blunt your bishop. So if I start pushing this, I just give up more holes. I mean, I just give up more 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 squares. And then you're attacking my bishop and your knight is up in here. And it's it's up in the ass, ass of Timo. I don't like that. Um, so this was just a weird move. I didn't like yeah this didn't make any sense and rookie one is just a uh, forest yeah because bishops i'm starting to like understand the value of bishops uh, it comes from you know just the ability like if there's a bishop on a long diagonal like jesus christ there's either the pawns are in a formation that is anti-bishop or they're in a formation that is you know non-anti-bishop and then this is going to be weak this is going to be skewered, so either you have to like make a structure and then move the stuff away from there, but obviously this, this, this is just, I don't want to move this bishop, I'm this pawn ever. And bishop g3, yeah, it's just, it's just a uh, one more blunder. Yeah, that's the, by far the worst move, uh, but I mean, you kind of rub salt in my wounds by finding this really cool, like, this is insane, so let me see, so if you go there, there's so much stuff. This is like a sandwich of tactics. Because first you, uh, it's a primarily a check, of course. You force me to either take or move the king. But if I move the king, it's an interference tactic. And you win the, and you win the bishop. So I wasn't even thinking of that. I wasn't really thinking in this game. If I was just thinking about checks in every position, I would I would have easily won. And. I would have at least seen that, because here I'm like just completely winning if I do this. Now look at this fucking bishop. How do you get rid of this bishop? Like, you just don't. How do you, how the fuck do you get rid of this bishop? Rook c8, you do this? Brother. Oh yeah, oh wait, no, queen e2, not queen d2. Because then c4, oh, wait. Here? Oh yeah, you prevent c4 from happening, ah. But then you go here, and bishop g3. Okay, so then it falls back. And then you can castle. But your pieces are really awkward. Look at this. Then I can actually even... No, don't go there. <laughs> Should be five. And then I can go back there. It's just it's just pins. I'm mean, bishop all, all, the, all the way down. <laughs> mm. Yeah, good job with the find. But your bishops were so, so well placed. Yeah, I feel like I've been, I've been kind of understanding... It's just one more blunder, that sucks. But yeah, I, I, mean, like, I mean, this is kind of a... Uh, yeah, I was like, oh, bishop c2, queen d3 again. But it doesn't work here, because you could for that. So it's more active to just play moves that you want to play anyway. Oh, well, I guess this, in order to take this thing out of this completely. Because then I can put the rook there. And then you're kind of like, ooh. Hmm... Oh yeah, you first moved the bishop. Oh, but yeah. Uh, I just got lazy. I just didn't calculate enough there. I'm pretty happy with my play out outside of those two moves. Because um, it's very important to... I mean, I guess, yeah, like this kind of... Maybe you should keep an eye on or like focus on the activity of the bishops and like what they're actually doing. Because like, you know, when, when you compare my bishops to your bishops in, in this position... It looks equal on the surface, but this bishop, I mean, it's looking at the knight, but you don't really want to trade the bishop pair off. But it's also looking at these guys, which is not really looking at anything. And this bishop is not looking at anything at all. Whereas this bishop is looking at the, you know, the king side. And it's gonna, you know, enable stuff like this in the future. And this bishop is, 
well, I guess it's also not looking at much right now. But there's a lot of, like, I guess... It's defending the the knight, which is really powerful. So I guess that's also something. So I would say my bishop like two times as good as yours. Mm, but yeah, thank you for... This was first time playing this. Uh, oh yeah, what did you play? Oh yeah, <laughs> you just go to the Jobava. This is just one of the lines in the Jobava, London. Uh, oh yeah, I was supposed to... Oh no, 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 no. Uh, I still have time, I still have time. Um, gotta be quick. Uh, I was supposed to watch... Uh, look at the theory here, because I just transposed it to uh, Jobava. So, C6 uh, line... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Um. Oh wait, no, it's what? Oh wait, no, this is not the, this is not the, this is not, it's not the C six line. It's actually, in the E E six line. Let me see. So this is, uh, theory, theory, theory. Oh wait, not E six line either. Wait, which line is this? Maybe it's not any line. Maybe it's just bad for black. What? Because that's not a move. Because you have to play the bishop. Hmm. Maybe I go to the all files. All files combined. There we go. Maybe I can try to find... What the fuck? It's not, a, it's not any of the lines. You're, you're a genius. You came up with your own move. No, it just means it's bad. Yeah, this is not ever, ever a, a line. You either play e6 right away, and then I jump in here, or you play bishop to f4. But I mean, I'm still very comfortable here. What the fuck? Okay, okay, it's fine. It might be, there might be a transposition or something. I would like to hear from Dania what he thinks about this position. Also, first move should have been d5. Ah. Uh, what do you mean? Doesn't it just transpose anyway? d5 here and then you go for this it would have just transposed right but yeah this is Karakhan right I could have also gone for Karakhan let me see I played the fantasy against the Karakhan uh, but it's been so long I don't want to play this but it's very sharp against it's it's very nice for white it's it's full of tricks and stuff but let me just look at the opening bishop d3 yeah Bishop 7 is a theory here. We're still in theory here. Nice. I mean, it's, it's very, it's all logical moves. And this move is just like already kind of there. I think it's better to probably... I mean, yeah, just castle. I don't know why you weren't just castling. Let's see what happens. Castles. Uh, maybe rookie one, 95. Yeah. Uh, we're probably going 95 first. Maybe even h3. Yeah, h3 is good. Or yeah, I guess e5. That's what I was planning, not knight. Yeah, yeah. I probably just played this. But yeah, I, got, I need more experience with these very simple job position. So job up positions where it's just like, you know, you just push in the center and you just have to play an open game. Mm. And so let's see about this. Yeah, H3 is okay. Well, it for a moment it blinked here, it, it flashed here. Because I was thinking, I can just go E4 right away. But here actually you can go Knight H5, which I probably should have prevented. Because what do I do here? Should be 5 I would have gone here. Then you take and get, you get my bishop pair. So I was actually punching myself for, or kicking myself for castling here. Yeah, I should have gone, I should have, I would have gone H3, I think. I love this game. I kind of hated it. I was kind of not focusing. I mean, also I was eating at the same time, so that's a, that's an excuse. But yeah, it was, a, it was a good game. It was a good game. H3 is good. E4 is E4 is best. Yeah, I love that I saw this idea. It doesn't always happen in Jobava, so I like just, you know, being able to play good chess. And then this is just a... It's a scary move. I just didn't see this. You just get the bishop pair. Fuck, dude. And then you're just tied, and I get like a couple of uh, free moves here. Bishop g3. Why would g3? One is here. Well, I guess, the, yeah. It's just more active here, and right? if you ever threaten it with this move, I'm just gonna drop back, and then you gotta go back. And yeah. Fuck, dude. It's so simple, too. Because it also works here. Just checks capture tax. I should always be thinking of that. Annoying. But yeah, good game, good game.
Um, it gave you 1650 yellow. I mean, it doesn't. I don't really feel good about that. 1650. You got 19. Oh my god, why is my mouse? Why is my scroll wheel actually? It's just spinning for free, freely. What? Oh! There's a button that. Oh my god, my, my mouse wheel. Basilisk. It's got. It's got. Oh, it's either smooth, just free rolling scroll. Or if I press the button once, it goes to the normal, like, vroom, 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 roll. What the heck? So crazy. I pressed it accidentally and I just, my, I thought my mouse, like, uh, my, my scroll wheel just, like, I don't know, detached from the mouse. But that's so cool. It just spins. Oh my god, that's so cool. It's like a fidget spinner. Okay, don't, don't do that. Oh. And then it does, like, a cool sound. When I spin it really fast and then I press the button, it says, vroom. When it like breaks. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's so cool. I'm the happiest man on planet Earth. Yeah, so I'm gaming myself that. Yeah, uh, but my old basilisk, because it broke, I had to buy a new one. Uh, I had version 1.0 or version 1, and it had just like a knob or like a wheel at the bottom, and you can like adjust the resistance of the scroll with that. And it's, I guess, like the same thing, but this is a button that does it. And it's, it cost me a fifth. Oh, what? Oops. DPI? Don't change DPI. But yeah, it cost me $50 and they're fancy like this. Oh my god, gaming has never been cheaper. Um, but yeah, 1900 I mean, I guess you just played really well. I guess I wasn't even really giving you kudos for that. You just played really solid. Uh, this was a sussy idea. I don't, I don't like this. It just looks ugly. Um, what does the engine actually want from you? Yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Versus castles, yeah. Um, but you played really solid. I mean, you deserve that win, of course, because I, I missed two key... I fucked up two key moves and... and you... Yeah. And here I just kind of fell apart. I, I just forgot. That's my bad. The thing is, I never get this opening from white. It's like you are the only one who knows it. Ain't no way. I mean, yeah, the Jobava, I mean, I've also never really seen people play it. That's also that's one of the reasons why I play it because Naradit shows it and it's really nice to learn. It's fun, but I mean D four, well yeah, you don't really get it. That's true, but it's good. I mean it's good practice because then when you face it, you're gonna be able to surprise the person um, who who faces people who hasn't haven't faced it faced against it. So you have faced against it, so you can you know wreck the people who play it. Mm. I think they call it hyper scroll wheel or something. Oh my god. Oh yeah, hyper scroll wheel. Is that gonna be good for like bunny hopping in CSGO or something? That sound is so satisfying. Is like a more a small engine or something? Maybe it's like a... Uh, uh, what's it called? Electric electric magnet or something like that? Okay, guys, uh, I need to go. I'm kind of late already, but it's okay. I can, I can squeeze in the leg day. Oh my god, almost six hours of streaming. Also, where's my mouse? Okay, there we go. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot for playing. Uh, studying was a bit light today, but it's okay. I'll definitely be back tomorrow. I'm feeling really good about chess. I didn't play too many games. Did I play any games against random people? I think I played one. But yeah. Mm. We are road to GM. GG's man. Go get swole. I mean, I'm already swole, but I'm just gonna, you know, keep maintaining. Maintaining the swoleness. But yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, good job, guys. Um... See you tomorrow, hopefully. And yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good about my improvement. No, we didn't read anything, by the way, for Dolphin. We usually read this at the end of the stream. It's a strategy imbalance or a middle game book by Silman. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, today was just gaming and very good analysis. I'm, I'm actually trying to, you know, I'm, I'm actually, I think I'm getting better at analyzing games. It's cool to not have to rely on the engine. Okay, bye bye. Good night. Uh, give me. Give me heartlick. There we go. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.